patient with the tech. <laughs> hey, thank yeah. you. I need a condensed version of PKA. I need Kyle to tell me about a TV show I've never seen in like five minutes. Uh, <laughs> what do you, I need you to, uh, Taylor, I need you to uh, give me as many racist accents as you can. And Woody, I need you to fundamentally <laughs> not understand something about the human condition. Go. <laughs> 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 All right, so you definitely want to check out Mr. God in damn. Between. Mr. In Between effect. <laughs> okay, Mr. In Between, got it. Woody, go. <laughs> Why would anyone watch that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Taylor, go. <laughs> I don't know which race. <laughs> so many options. Man, you've really boiled it down. You really destroyed <laughs> four hours here. That is I know shows. Anyway. And Destiny, if you want, if you have anything, uh, if you have anything you need to uh, indoctrinate children with for the Globo Homo agenda, I need you to get that out right away at the beginning <laughs> so we can shout about it. Yes, get your guys shout out. It'll come up for the first time again. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Again. I appreciate you guys. Uh, probably the most requested duo, and I like. I like the story arc of it because the first time we had both of you guys on, I remember like the first time we had Dick on, I remember like Woody brought up like, yeah, he had the argument with Destiny and Dick was like, yeah, d- didn't go well, you know, you know, it didn't go great. And then like over time, you guys come on the show, you get closer, then you're laughing. I, I saw a show online uh, where you guys, I think you were physically at Dick's house sitting recording yeah. oh. and then like some people started calling in and both of you were arguing at them it's just a wonderful but you guys have seen each other in real life now yeah yeah oh neat uh, yeah no we're in each other's polycule i am i've also <laughs> debated destiny a few times i'm o for however many times we did it that's there's <laughs> there's this really weird thing i like um I'll, I'll blame the my half of my cuban family i don't know if people know who's many people they scream at each other when they talk to each other um i used to spend summers down where my grandma lived in hialeah in florida uh, Miami and I just that that side of my family is always screaming at each other whenever I argue with my mom or my aunt We're always screaming at each other. We usually chill after um, and I noticed that online There's like two people I know That we can have like a big argument and then afterwards it's like whatever. I don't care I don't know yeah. holding it. It's not personal like we're not like going crazy like so, uh, half times are like dumb political shit Like it's not, it doesn't personally affect um, any of us But like for a lot of people online I notice that like I'll see a clip of somebody like wow That was like, such a dumb opinion and then the person will fucking hate me forever and people will say shit like, oh, my God, like you burned so many bridges. And I was like, I criticized like one opinion this guy had. And then now they took it personally. And they were like, the, it's like the end of our relationship. It was like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems like I don't think Dick takes it too personally. Um, and I've got like a couple. There's like two people I know um, that like don't take it super personally. Where you can have an argument with them. And then afterwards, like it's whatever. But yeah, people just go crazy over that shit. They do. No, I'm uh, I'm old, man. I'm in constant pain. I don't care what people on the Internet say. I don't care. I mean, you're it's uh. It's yeah, I I like getting pissed off online and shouting, but um, if you don't if you don't build the bridge back up, you you get less shouting, right? Or if you at the end of the day, if you actually like, and I say this to people all the time, man, if you get into if you do like the online politics, fighting, arguing and shit, if you log off and you still carry that shit with you, if you're like super angry and upset and depressed and mad and all sorts of other mental illnesses that people are collecting like Pokemon now on Twitter, if you have that <laughs> shit going on, like just unplug, like seriously, just delete your account. Why would you will like, yeah. why would you willingly engage in something that's like destroying your mind? Uh, I don't know. Like a walking normal, more fit than average human. Have you guys seen that Diego Sanchez is running from Kyle? I, I, I have. I Diego have. Sanchez. So Diego Sanchez is a UFC fighter. He's been in the game for like 15 years, gotcha. something so like he's that. A like, legend. Uh, yeah, he's a legend. Uh, he, he was at one point at the very top. He wasn't a champion, but he fought for a championship, if Got I it. recall. And um, he was offered a fight with Kyle, and he has declined this fight. Was Kyle signed off? the contract. Wait, Diego Kyle, won't. Yeah, Di- yeah, Diego sorry. won't sign the contract if I have my if I have my facts right. And yeah, he can we is. Get a, can we get a uh, like a like one of those petition pages where we can all signature it and then you, you know five k signatures you you fight. Did he tell you why he didn't want to? <laughs> uh, he said that he's a coward. Uh, he's scared. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> Diego built- Sanchez knows. Diego Sanchez knows that if he were to get into the octagon, the ring, you name your combat arena with Kyle, Kyle would fucking steal his lunch money, grab that man's hair, stuff him into a toilet, and give him a swirly. He's not finished. He would take Diego Sanchez's <laughs> mom, match her on Tinder, give her the night of her life, and then Plow. break her heart. 
I'll Sign never the contract, text Diego. Don't be scared, homie. Oh He's right here. So, Kai, what, do you want to box? Do you want to do you want to? Oh, whatever he wants to do. They offered, they offered bare knuckle boxing. Um, I said okay. I would do that, but like it, he seems to be Ooh, afraid. That's... He seems to be afraid to do that. So, um, you know, whatever he wants to do. Um, uh, but it seems like he doesn't want to fight. He's just afraid. Um, get on I the next I, Jake Paul undercard. Kyle, can we get a double bicep here? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I feel like we need to just like let him go. You know, we don't want to be chasing somebody that's just running. At this point, it's bullying, you know? Diego. It's just bullying right now. We're just yeah. bullying a UFC fighter. Imagine fighting people for 15 years and you can't to... even fight a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to be chasing this guy down the road, you know. He's, not he's even clearly a YouTuber running scared. anymore, man. Not even. Yeah, you can't even fight a podcast host. Come yeah, on, you act like a YouTuber is the the bottom end of the combat sports echelon, but it you're wrong. Undefeated. YouTubers liter- have never been beaten by professional athletes thus far. Yeah, it, but they it, were beaten at, by the Twitch streamers, right? In that YouTubers Twitch fight. No, I'm sorry, I'm TikTok. Not sure. it, no, it, YouTube. Kick- oh no, you're. Ah, the never mind. I'm misremembering all this shit. The only way to beat a YouTuber is to get another YouTuber, and I'm talking about KSI versus Logan Paul. Yep. When you take a YouTuber against a professional athlete, whether they be from MMA, <laughs> UFC, etc., it's, so it's so all different. true. It's all true. Check the f- fact. Check me, check boys. The fact, right? You take a YouTuber against a professional athlete, and the YouTubers come on top every time. That's and there is no running. other reason other than they're just fucking better. Yeah. <laughs> I love that it's, Diego's like we're super religious breed. too. He's always talking about the blood of Christ. So I'm gonna go like full satanic with the whole thing, uh, <laughs> ripping right. like wearing horns on the walkout, like, like six 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 on my chest. Like 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 I'm gonna just just the whole thing. I'm gonna sell my soul to Satan right away. It's gonna be part of the whole the whole bit, like for sure. I, I'm going to be putting curses on him and uh, doing sacrilegious things uh, to him uh, the the whole way through. The whole way through. Just just, just to let you know, Diego, you're gonna circumcise him. Um, I, 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 I God, willing, God willing, I don't know what that has to do with anything. So probably not. <laughs> Isn't that sacrilegious to some some religions? No, I don't know, no, dude. I'm pretty maybe sure maybe it's not. pretty. The other way, around. The other way that yeah, required for you. Right. So you're gonna sew it back on. I'm gonna. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, that's sew, right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna beat him up, and I'm gonna sew a new foreskin onto. Him. After he breaks his mother's heart, he will reinstall the. Give foreskin you a new. Give him. you a new yeah. turtleneck. <laughs> After I break his mother's heart. Woven with his mother's hair. <laughs> I, love, I love that that's as, that's as hardcore as Woody's trash talk gets. He's like, he's going to take your mother out for a fine steak dinner and then never call her again. <laughs> a tough one. A, give her the night of her life. <laughs> it's implied. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's running scared. Um, I'm, I'm pretty surprised by the whole thing. He's usually foaming at the mouth. Um, Who started guess, it? How'd I'm thinking... Come um, yeah, they, they offered me the fight, the, uh, the, okay. the, the, oh, the right, promotion right. did. Um, I'm thinking the deal is that maybe a lot of Diego's fights in the past were fixed. I'm thinking that maybe <laughs> like, like this guy's, I've heard that. Actually. I've heard, I've heard people say that. I just heard it now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think <laughs> no, I, that's, I've heard that forever. I'm thinking yeah. that maybe like a lot of his fights in the, in the past were just literally fixed fights. Um, that he wasn't actually a fighter ever. That he's like some kind of an actor or something like that. Right. And mm-hmm. uh, like he should he should maybe check out the WWE or something. Check right? the SAG after. Yeah. I think he's one of those guys. Yeah, I think he's in SAG, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. I am as well. So like it makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, I, I just I just think he's a poser. I don't think he's a real fighter like me. Um, I don't think he's had the years of training and discipline. <laughs> if you think um, he's a poser, put one in the comment section below. Let's farm that engagement. Dude, yeah, he's yeah. got so many IMDb entrances here. Like you have he is hit... an actor. Yeah, Jesus. Well, that's paid fraud, actor. Dude. Some would say, right? Just a fraud. Just a fraud. Um, I, I doubt he's ever had like a real fight. Fight like I have. You know, like, like he's not the sort of combat athlete that. Has I he am. been to prison? That's what I want. No. Never even been to prison. Like, like, yeah, he I mean, at this like, point, like, what are you? He's not hard like us. He, he's not hard no. like me. He's never been on the streets. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, said like us. Oh, oh, just, just work with me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm close, Jason. <laughs> we're, we're the most white bread group of human beings that has been assembled, <laughs> that has been assembled in modern times. Listen, hey, like, you don't like, know shit about when I was grounded and I fought my mom verbally, all right? That was a... <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty soft group we got. So, Kyle, I just... We were saying before the show, I don't really care about motorcycles too much, but the the fervor and excitement that you and Woody have in our group chat, just talking about it, is like, I'm glad they found something they like so much. Like, that's good. And you you passed your test, smartest in class, and... Tied for, was, tied for smartest, yes. From, like, the how long did it take from, like, the first takeoff with the license, real motorcyclist, to the crash? Um... <laughs> 12 minutes, 12 minutes, <laughs> it took me 12 minutes to crash. 
I love that you rode the motorcycle to get the drugs. I I, I forgot yeah, about nice that gloves. for a second. Nice gloves. Yeah, point one mile. <laughs> point one mile. Did you score? What'd you get? I did. Not the goods. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that looks like. Okay. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's so what? An Orangina stati- stevia. Let me see. Stevia. Stevia. Orange stevia. vagina. A fake sugar. Orange vagina stevia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Single use ceramic core CO2 oil vape system. It's a yeah. lift ticket, oh. apparently. <laughs> yeah, I get that's, it. That's it gets funny. you high. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it shouldn't yeah. even have a button. You just you just pull and you, you you're good to go. Although it might take a couple to heat up the coil. You might have to inhale a couple times. Okay. He said two or three hits max. Max. Yeah. Well, you'll be able yeah. to see you'll Smart be able guy. to see what you can breathe out. Like it'll <laughs> it'll be apparent. <laughs> How big is a hit? Is it like from that '70s show where you just inhale as much as you can and hold no, it? No, no, take no. it easy. Take it easy. Don't do just, that. Just like a normal, <laughs> we're here like, for like three more hours. You just take, <laughs> take it nice and easy. I don't need just passing out on me. <laughs> like a half breath, you know, just like. But you don't even need to pull that hard. Yeah, you're gonna be. Right. I'm, gonna <laughs> laugh, I'm gonna laugh when Woody just fucking gets narcoleptic for the rest of the show. Like, he just starts nodding off. Well, let's so you see it how the... it's working. All right, that's good. That's there good. you go. Yeah. yeah so there you I go. Was, all right. Now, now let's wait. Let's wait three minutes, five minutes, something like <laughs> that. I, I really would. Like, like, yeah. I think and then the, the good news about now. a pen is that it's very controlled, and you you can get as much as you need. And with weed, it's like alcohol. You can you could get higher later if you wanted to. You know, this is not like uh, like. People talk about like smoking weed is like, oh, I'm gonna be high in 45 minutes. Like, I don't know. Like, you're gonna know in about. Does it hit this fast, or yes. am I just yeah. making yeah, it? Yeah, you're up? high now. No, you're. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> yeah, it hits that fast. You're now you're high. Yeah, I think. I <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's oh, nice. That's... So I mean, it was you walked it. I mean, I like so what's. I, I I see your location data. You're in the middle of Colorado. Um, yeah. So I mean, what was the store like? You know, did it look like an Apple store? Or was it a little more homey? So there was a lot of security at the front door. There was like yeah. a little waiting room, and uh, they carded me. But they didn't just card me. They like entered my card into a yep. system, I guess, to verify that it like it wasn't just a bouncer using his judgment. I, I think they used a computer to. to they ensure. scan All it right. and they check it with the DMV. No, they only take cash. So there's an ATM machine in that little <laughs> lobby cell thing. They've got you there. Yep. And uh, hmm. and I so I, did, I had some cash on me. So I just walked right in. And uh, when I told him that I had never smoked before, which is only kind of sort of true, like one time in the Dominican Republic, we tried it and it didn't work. And I'm not even, <laughs> we might have smoked oregano. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, um, when I, I was like, I've never smoked before, my friend said, you know, uh, sativa uh, vape pen or something like that. And um, he's like, never, never, ever. Suddenly I'm a celebrity. There's three employees there. <laughs> They're all like, like paying way too much attention to me. I don't want anyone to like, like I don't know. Somehow I want to keep it a secret from the people at the marijuana dispensary that I might smoke pot. Yeah. yeah. I think I might've just blinked out. And, and uh, you know, I'm like embarrassed that I'm buying this. I'm like, what would my mom think? Hey mom, I'm not sure you're watching this. <laughs> and uh, that's what's going through my head. And he's just like, dude, yeah, we'll get you this. We'll get you that. He's hooking me up with like, I don't know, supplies that I will need to get high with for a long time. And it's like, no, 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 this is just that I'm passing through Colorado. Like we're not <laughs> yeah. on the same wavelength. He's got me with these like rechargeable things and he's trying to throw in gummies and this and that. And he's trying to get me to review his store and, and all this on top <laughs> of it. But I'm like, I just kind of want, you know, what Kyle said to get. And uh, um, they, oh, and even though I asked for Sativa, they hit me up with a hybrid and an Indica pen too. And they were like, selling those but i was like no 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 they they told me what to get so that's that's what yeah, i came back with way to yeah. stay true to your uh to your guns that's they were mm-hmm. i like it, indica i like indica oh I, I that's your strongest indi- yeah because i want to get fucked up um but, but it's a but, different kind of uh experience than you the one that the one that you're smoking is a little more less body more mind right yeah like you'll 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 feel a little giggly silly it's more creative stuff Indica is like I'm. I'm I want to go to bed. I want to sit in the couch and feel like I'm a part of the couch. You know those old dare commercials where the girls feel yeah. faded. 
They snatch mm. like sink into it. Yeah. yeah it's actually <laughs> like that. <laughs> the guy behind the counter is like indica in the couch. That's how yeah. you remember. Mm, I'm yeah. like, all right, I, yeah. I got that. He didn't have Funny. one for sati- sativa though. Uh, right. Sunny, sunny sativa. I hope you called it. I hope you called it what you called it when you got back. The uh, orange. I messed it up. I kept messing. (laughs) Orangina was the flavor. Orangina. I love that it's orangina because I'm I'm imagining like Donald Trump, but with a pussy. Like, like I'm imagining imagining what that would taste like. And does he grab his own pussy by the pussy? Mm. Dude. Uh, Speaking of chocolate and yummy treats, Kyle, you made some delicious baked goods today, packed with. Just probably a stupid amount of marijuana. So I took, um, I wrote it all down. I took. That's less than I expected. I took seven grams of 25% THC marijuana and I cooked that into uh, cupcakes for a total of 1,750 milligrams of THC, which is a little more than we want tonight. Almost so, mm. so we are doing six about of them. About ten times more than I want. <laughs> you took about yeah. two-thirds of the cupcakes. I've got two-thirds. Thirds. The other one-third, I guess, is for the, the only problem time. is two-thirds of the cupcakes, when you're trying to hit a thousand milligrams, is an entire... <laughs> Is an entire plate of cupcakes. Um, Taylor, are you looking at that and thinking, what's the problem? Because I, 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 I started I on mean, this one already a little. What are you going um, to eat the last three hours of the show? Uh, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is uh, is start like by eating one now and then slowly rank. Yeah, like, like, you should like, ease into up. it. Later. It's not like he was token up as Don't he was ruin your ascending. life, kids. Don't smoke weed. Or Don't smoke weed. Also, Why didn't you tell me this 30 minutes ago? Yeah, here, take your time. Go, guys. Ghost got a jar. Stay frosty. Second wave going out. Stand by. Hang on. Shepard, get those fires to cease fire immediately. That was too... Two hours later. Kyle, how are you feeling? You look high as shit. Um... <laughs> Um, so I'm vibrating, like I've got this like pulsating thing, this like wom 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 that I can like feel like the, the sensation like in my head, in my hands, and like my chest. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to like really form full sentences in my head before I say them. Yeah, because I can go like I can meander otherwise. How how um, many are, do you have left to get through? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, I Wait, I really to... didn't expect that. <laughs> I, uh, I did see that him. He was eating it the whole time. I was trying to get them all down at two hours. Uh, it's got to be in the Gulf or. Did you grow up by the Coast. beach, Jericho? I thought you did. Uh, my here. grandparents uh, in Wilmington, North Carolina, so they have a beach house there. Okay, did Kyle, you... your your camera keeps shaking. Are you like tapping your feet wildly or something? I am. Okay, yes. let's, let's go yes, ahead and I cut am. that out. I'll try to. Hey, we're gonna want to. We're gonna want to slap. My, my knee is like doing that bouncy thing, like 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 crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. you're so anxious. That. Yeah, yeah. Go after, and when they lose to a bunch of their rejects, I get a charge <laughs> out of it. I like it. <laughs> you like that, Kyle? Yeah. Get over your your high effort costume. <laughs> I tried so hard, you know, like 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 around the house guy. Did. Around the house guy. All right, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Things around the house, man. Um, <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> my like, <laughs> hours include high stress levels and uh, <laughs> rummaging <laughs> through closets. <laughs> yeah, you do look amazing as Billy Eilish, though. <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty good Billy Eilish. <laughs> And I like the sunglasses. It's just like, well, this is another thing. Yeah, I, another, I, was, I was like, where are my sunglasses? They're they integral. were right on the dashboard. It's just your everyday wear. <laughs> made them. So is that yeah. a cape you're wearing? You... Uh, uh, yeah, I've got my, my apocalypse cloak, you know? Okay. Your apocalypse cloak. Yeah. Who's apocalypse? Is that a Princess oh, yeah. Bride reference? <laughs> I had never heard apocalypse pro- cloak. cloak. Oh, I thought it was a Marvel yeah. thing. Uh, okay, I uh, thought it was red because of the red on the headphones. I couldn't tell, but it's just uh, totally black. Do you have any okay. big plans to dress up this year, Anthony? I know it's no. one of your big things. No, we <laughs> used to do uh, we used to do Halloween parties at my house, and they were thematic. A lot of times, we would mm. have a bunch, everybody come over and dress up, you know, a theme thing. But you know, I'm in a fucking apartment. What am I gonna 
trick or treat. <laughs> like a, I, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, so wait, just to be clear, I, three days from now, if I just walk around the neighborhood, everyone gives me candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, I mean, if I have the costume already. <laughs> not yeah, <me>. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't they have to? It's like it's, they're contractually bound. Practically. Not if you're almost I, a 50 year old man. I mean, I mean, candy. I, like, like, look, if you act test. like you're a little. If you act like you're a little off, they'll give you candy. A little off. Yeah, act like I'm not neurotypical and just, yeah, you know, start. I think just jokes. going up there, people <laughs> yeah. just so, probably would just want to not have a problem, and they just, <laughs> you know, uh, go up there, start a conversation guy. with them, and then shush them a couple times, and they'll start <laughs> Starbucks in your in your basket right away. Yeah. They'll get I don't. It. I don't remember that NASCAR guy open carrying. <laughs> walking around with a gun. <laughs> Open uh, carry is legal here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not brandishing. It's part of my costume. <laughs> you, it's an exception on Halloween. Yeah, I do think I could just walk around in the neighborhood not far from me and get free candy. I, yeah, I, I don't think they'll judge me by. It. Well, they will definitely judge me, but they won't not give me candy. Yeah, you'll be a dinner party topic. When you leave, if they're like having something, like, right, is, right, is there something like, off with him? Just make it. Oh, I, I imagine a man. couple's costume like Alec Baldwin in a gunshot victim. Oh trick yeah, treating. I bet that happens. There's gonna be <laughs> someone dressed like a cowboy, and then somebody else with a clothes on and a gunshot a headset. Wound. Right? What was yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Headset or something. Uh, yeah, gunshot yeah. Wound. I mean, it was only like eight years ago that Halloween was effectively like, what's the most offensive thing I can dress up as? Like, yeah, what's the most yeah. off color joke I can I'll make? never forget being at a girlfriend's friend's Halloween party and the guy showing up as Kanye West, a white man showed up <laughs> oh, as Kanye boy. West. Oh, that'll he, do it. And and it's he Halloween. had those he had those plastic sunglasses that that don't have like frames. They've just got like plastic and like 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 slices taken out of them or whatever. Yeah, little louvers. <laughs> he he was in full blackface. Oh my god! And she was as Kim Kardashian with like this ridiculous like tits and ass like thing, also mm-hmm. in blackface. And she oh had, god. I think, I think maybe she's they had not had even their... black. I well, yeah, this girl, <laughs> but but she's darker than this girl. Um, <laughs> she's not even black. <laughs> you just take it. Oh my god! <laughs> but I don't want yeah. to leave him out she, here by himself. I'll join him. But I think she had like a little baby worse. or something. She had like a little black baby because I think Kim Kim oh, Kardashian god. just had had a baby at the time, and oh. they were just being super obnoxious. That's the most offensive costume I've ever seen. Mm. It's twenty five years ago, but it seemed like every adult woman was Monica Lewinsky in a blue dress. Oh god, on yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I that like was it. a big one. I feel bad for her now. Like at the time, at the time, I guess I just wasn't aware that people in the public like that were real people. You know, three different yeah, people with yeah. feelings and shit. They're a fucking joke, right? You just right. saying, yeah, yeah. Monica. <laughs> you know, she's you're not going to hear it. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Like I'm sure none of those jokes got back to Monica. She's unaware that no, the whole no. world knows about her and her blue dress and whatever. Um, yeah. So I, I was totally insensitive to it. I thought it was the funniest thing ever, and that you know, every time someone oh. wore the blue dress with the stain, but that must have been very hurtful to her. Yeah, and she was young. What was she? Twenty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. really. Like, was right for the picking. <laughs> I mean, that Clinton is... knew how he liked him, young and vulnerable. He just fucking yeah. He's the goddamn president, the most powerful person arguably in in the world, and then there's a twenty year old intern. He fucks around with her, and the guy is still revered and looked at by many people as this amazing guy. It's so fucked up. He did balance the budget. <laughs> it's the <laughs> it's the economy, stupid. <laughs> That's, yeah, uh, think of the dot com days. Uh, Stephanopoulos's uh, line. It but was now George Carvel. They all line. do it. Oh, Carvel. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Demon tail. I do. I do. We're going oh, off the right. rails here tonight. All right. So a uh, little context. As a child, I always used to see things. Ghosts, demons, goblins, monsters, voices, all this shit constantly. I hated it. Um, but it was a part of my reality. But it got lesser as I got older. 
So mm-hmm. probably something growing up, environmental, hormonal, whatever. Yeah. Uh, in this was probably about I was like 12, 13 years old. And in that time, I was very tired of this aspect of my life. So I used to try to take pictures of things like that when I whenever it would pop up, whenever I would see it, because I figured ghosts hate cameras. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, is that right? And I was living in a place in Kentucky that I considered to be extremely haunted. I have a story about an evil doll I can tell you as well or dolls, plural, that move on their own. Uh, So I was freaked out. I was like a little nervous ball of mess of a kid. Every fucking day there was a voice or a noise or some goddamn light or some spooky thing or some problem at at least a couple times a week, right? Can you describe like what it was you were seeing? Like a fully formed thing, a shadow? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So in the context of this story, I'm minding my own business in my bedroom. I'm just cleaning it. I'm like 12, 13. It's a mess, right? And it's a nice like old wood cabin kind of place. So we have these wood doors with the complicated grain pattern and stuff. And I'm minding my own business. And I look over at the door and I watch it like warble very briefly Mm. as if something is trying to push through the wood grain pattern. Now, here's the bizarre thing. What you're probably imagining is something like the Predator or like an elite from Halo standing in front of it with like the light bending. Mm -hmm. But it was more like my brain was opening to a pattern in the wood grain that I could previously not perceive, but now that I could. And it was both moving and not moving at the same time. And it was wiggling and wobbling and coming together. And it formed the shape of something that I would say would be a cartoon demon, something like you would imagine out of an 80s or 90s scary movie, you know, demonic Mm -hmm. uh, uh, goat legs, scary hands with nails and horns and whatnot. Huge, full frame of the door just standing there. And it's like, hi, hi. I'm like Jesus. flipping out. I'm like turning white and I'm like just fucking scared shitless. And the thing starts talking to me and telling me uh, how fun it's been to play with me and that my brother's on the chopping block next. Can't wait to see what he's going to do to him. And uh, Jesus. But it was talking not in my ears. It was talking up here. There was a voice and thoughts in my head that were not my own, just flowing in from somewhere. And I was panicking. And I remember as a child, caring about my brother a lot. So I told it to stay with me and leave him alone. And it thought this was very amusing, said it would do so. And then said, let me give you a little preview of the future. And the wood grain just snapped. And it was almost like a TV screen, but like 2D and made of wood lines, just flashing little things in the that theoretically would be in the future. Also, also an awful, nasty stuff, right? A lot of bad things. And then pops back to the demon and it's just like, bye. And immediately the pattern goes away. It never changed to begin with. I could no longer perceive this. And the scary thing was that of the four things that I was shown, three have come true. Ooh, I'm I'm sure not all of them are things you want to share. Are any of them something you could? It's primarily personal things with my family. Fair enough. Yeah. Things that would, you know, like how grandma dies, stuff like that. Well, that's Um, so you were hallucinating regularly as a child all the time. Um, not all, as I got older, much lesser as a very young child. Yes. At the very least, I, as an adult, I think Taylor phrased that that incorrectly. When did the visions begin? As long as (laughs) I can remember. (laughs) You're right, Kyle. I'm sorry. This is, this is the Halloween season. We need to buy in. (laughs) Literally as long as I can remember. Uh, you want a killer doll story? When did you realize you were a seer? (laughs) When I was seven years old, I had had to go to, to, uh, various like, psychiatrist and analyst or whatever to let them do whatever they were going to do. Uh, they put me on a lot of different medications that children should not take, and it didn't help the problem at all. I had a terrible home environment, so it was probably some manifestation of that. That kind of instability is really bad for little kids. A lot of scary movies, stuff like that. Um, you ever but, seen any aliens or anything? No. I've seen Your shadow people. I've seen lights. Uh, a shadow person, man. It's a per- <laughs> it's, it's like a fucking like a, a shadow on your wall of a person, but there's no fucking person there. Well, I hate that. That's yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for that either. Is your home life extraordinarily mean. bad or like normal bad? Like parents got divorced, like half of kids go through. Extraordinary. Okay. Fuck. So, um, Enough to make you see demons and I was having a good doors. day up until like 20 minutes ago. I, I, we, can, we, can, we can make this. We can make this one. So the way to think about it, I, you know, you talked about DMT, and that's what gave me the idea. I legitimately think that my brain do DMT. dropped You're a half, tiny bit of the DMT stores that it has because it it felt like I was perceiving a pattern that previously I could not perceive, mm-hmm. and hearing yeah. things that I previously could not. 
I uh, had issues with uh, dolls that would move on their own in the same house. I fucking hated that. It used to creep me out because I always felt right, like they were staring at own. me. I, I'm sorry to keep interrupting you, but I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm fascinated. <laughs> okay. When you say move on their own, like it wiggle a little or it would just be here and now it's like in another room. Yeah, like be in a second area, one, and leave it. Uh, but to an extreme degree. So we were rich. We had a giant toy room bigger than this office that had a whole fucking wall of stuffed animals. And they all had these little glass eyes that I thought were staring at me all the time because fucked up little kid. Mm-hmm. Didn't like it. it was very annoying. So what I decided to do one day is go in there and turn all 100 of them around to face the wall. So just like teddy bear butts facing the rest of the room. And my little play areas, I had a little game station right beside the door to the playroom. So just sit in the door would be like right like right here, right here. Mm-hmm. So I did that, and I was like, great, I'm going to go play Road Rash on N64, and I do that for a little bit. I was like, I want something from the toy room. So it might have been an hour and a half later. Nobody is going in there. Parents are, like, gone, gone. It's just me. If somebody did go in, it would have had to been, like, right beside me, beside me, right? I go in there, and all 100 of these fucking dolls have turned around, and they're not just facing outward on the shelf like where they were, but the ones on the further ends are like angled in. So they're all looking at the door the very moment I opened it. Ooh. Did you so turn I them back closed, around? Yeah, I just closed the door and left. Just fucking out. Bye. See ya. Did they ever never, move again like, after that? I've never seen uh, or heard anything. I wish. I wish no, I you don't. Seen. You don't wish. It's this so sound, not This sounds fun. horrid. Why would you want this? Well, I don't want what he's got. He's, I mean, I mean, clearly he has a a, a, a thing going on. You know, a touch of the crazies. Yeah, touch I, I, some people. I just, I just want to see a door wiggle one time or something like. I want it to turn into like the Pillsbury Doughboy or someone good. Kyle, you're muted. Seen uh, lights. I've seen Hat Man, the old woman. Uh, I've seen, heard a plenty of number of, like weird, mostly weird sounds. You hear things dragging around in the wall, or little voices and whispers and stuff. Um, but it, okay, so it wasn't just me; it was the whole family. We all had to deal with this shit for like seven years. It was terrible. Mm-hmm. So they were seeing stuff as well with dolls yes. and, and yes. Uh, my mother, especially, she's got a whole host of colorful mental problems. So her reporting is less than uh, reliable. Uh, my brother has a few creepy stories. Who was very young, and the interesting one is that the old man, my stepfather, is like this Vietnam War veteran. He's not into this spooky ghost shit. My mom complains mm-hmm. about ghosts all the time. He's like, shut the fuck up. You don't know what real horror is. Um, Finally, and then fucking last, a normal person. And uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm all here alone listening to the last 40 minutes of make believe bullshit. None of this happened. None Dude, of but this it got him true. too. None it of this is not anything. Happened. It didn't no, get on, him. You, there was a wrong. night we heard footsteps <laughs> sprinting through the house got- and noises. He bolted up out of the bedroom shotgun. <laughs> Who's in the house? And we're all like, we've been telling you it's a fucking ghost. And he's like, Who's bullshit. That? And he just starts going around to see if there's anybody like breaking in the house or sneaking around outside and stuff like that. So we got him a time or two, too. The the demon got him. You just don't believe, Woody. You're just, you're just a skeptic. Well, here's the reality. It's what happened from my perspective, which exactly. is only as reliable as you believe in me. And so well, like, I think you have a mental illness, but, but I wish you the <laughs> best. <laughs> just the I believe best. in your ghost stories this much. Well, see, Woody, but we, but, we, but we talked about this with like the schizophrenia oh, thing. We talked about schizophrenia a couple weeks ago. Like, mm-hmm. in their eyes, everything they're saying is 100% real. And like, they're not, li- they're not trying to like pull the wool over your eyes. They're like, no, I saw a shadow person. And so, like, to them, it's real. And so, it's like just as horrifying as if it is real, you know? Sure. And you can't unremember it. So, as an adult, this continues about three or four times a year. I will briefly see or hear a thing that's not there, not a spooky ghost. I mean, it'll be just be like, I'll just be like laying in bed by myself and it's dead silent. And I'll hear, uh, welcome to Wendy's. What would you like to order? And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> just just ran number audit. six with a Coke Zero. Yeah, just <laughs> coming little, right tiny, up. Like maybe like one shadow person scooting by and then going to do his own thing super quick. Uh, but the difference between that and schizophrenia is a schizophrenic almost certainly believes that. Schizophrenics are confused that all of you don't see the same thing. Mm-hmm. They don't. It's like the object permanence or that one person can have knowledge that the other one doesn't. There's like an incongruency. So yeah. those hallucinations are reality. But in my case, I know that they're not real. Damn. That, as a kid, you probably thought they were real though, right? Oh, very real. Yeah. Very, very much so. That's horrible. I've never seen a demon or a ghost. 
a little more gnarly. That's Josh, gangster you, ass shit. You you, you have is... lost all ugh privileges. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I lost my ugh card. Jesus. Uh, this Christ. probably doesn't help, but we did bleach and sanitize everything. Oh, well, it well, helps a lot. What number domino was it? I should have asked that. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw in the chat, but Jack, Zach put a picture, and let me tell you, fair warning before you click it. Oh, I don't want to see any any. I want to see. You might not. I'm just giving you guys honest warning here. But that's an example of somebody that has gotten a bunch of them. Like I was Zach, saying, some post, guys get multiple. I'll tell you again, what I have Zach. seen and what yeah, I, I was going to let Zach take the blame for that. <laughs> oh, Woody, you posted it. Okay. Oh, it does say Woody over that. No, <laughs> oh, this is this is horrible. Now so I what, see, I, don't show this. what I would get, but I wouldn't go through the procedure of, like if you could just beam them in there. I've seen people that have like the little balls. Yeah, like, like the beads. That's what this picture looks them. like. Okay, and, and they've got a lot of them. Like, yeah, like, that's like what this pa- picture looks like. Okay, like, like like not too many, but you know, a ring of them yeah, or a pattern of them. Uh, this too one's many. too many in this picture. Just speed bumps under, like by the clit. Like that's what I'm thinking. I'd be okay that's, with that. Ostensibly, that's the ultimate well, goal. Of the clit. That's what's on the top. <laughs> now, for some yeah. reason, I was under the impression. What if we get a like, vibrating egg in there? This is you're, you're selling it. Yeah. Now, now for for like positioning reference here. Let's let's use my finger as a scale, which isn't that far off anyway. Um, <laughs> you would have expected, like I was expecting it to be, you know, back here or so, yeah. but it's oh. more like in the central part. It's more like kind of in the middle here. Fair. So it's about halfway down. I um, and right also, after I figured out how to womp it, I forgot to mention this, before the callus tissue had built up around that thing, when I would figure out my little ghetto way of left-handed weird womping it, uh, sometimes the pearl would be upside down. Like, as it is now, the heart faces away from me, but I would look at it and it'd be like towards me and angled crooked. And I'd be like, oh, shit. And then I have to grab it and wrestle that son of a bitch oh, back into position. Fuck, dude. The wrestling part really wasn't that bad. Like, once the scars, the cuts themselves healed up, you can grab that son of a bitch and yank it all up under your skin. It doesn't hurt. Now, if you thump it, it's bad. Like, anything hitting it at all is horrible because it's like pinching that skin really, really hard, you know? But um, what, what led to you deciding to do this? My cellmate hyped me up on it. He got this big, goofy-ass four-leaf clover. I mean, this damn thing was like the whole bottom half of a domino. He got this big, goofy-ass four-leaf clover and was hyping it up. Man, the bitches are going to love it and this and this. And I'm over here like, I've got like three and a half years before I'm thinking about some bitches, dude. Like, I'm not about to get my dick mangled in here. Did it look he, good on he, his dick? And then like, it looked cool, man. When he opened the flap up and he showed it to me, I was like, that actually looks pretty fucking sick. That It's body modification. I didn't even have any tattoos yet. I actually got body mod before I got any prison tattoos. <laughs> like, skipped a couple of fucking steps. I had no tattoos on my body at this time. What prison and, tattoos uh, do you have? Oh, I've got a bunch of them. I got Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life done with a staple right there. I got Innocent sure. on my rib cage and Never Forget <laughs> down here with some more stuff. I got some skate logos on my back. It came out really crappy because they were done with the staple also. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff on my leg. I did most of my leg ones. I did this five years. I'm about to knock over my whole desk. I knocked over my water bottle. Five years, an alien, Blink-182. Um, <laughs> this was supposed to be Albert Einstein. My friend swore to God he could do a pick and poke portrait. He said, trust me, bro. All I need is a staple. I can do a portrait. That was supposed to be Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> I got full screen, full screen, full screen. Exactly. Albert Einstein, ladies and gentlemen, in all of his glory. <laughs> honestly honestly that's not bad <laughs> no it's fucking bad he, he debated that. me on that one i trust I'll be him. honest i'll be honest i wanted to make fun of it but they both told the truth already it's pretty fucking good it's pretty dude fucking good. it's ter- like you can recognize it because it's einstein like one of the most iconic people on the face of the earth but... what's that it looks like he spent so much time doing the curve of that nose into the one eye and yeah then, and then he hurried through the rest <laughs> yeah like he was so hyper focused on i'm gonna get the shading right for the nose and the eye i'm not gonna i'm just doing a vague outline ever in his defense he wanted another two or three sessions on it after that oh, one session, I was oh, that, like, that would have shaped no. Right <laughs> that one session, I was like, I've already got to get this bitch covered up. Like, we don't have to add no, on you, to it and make it harder to cover. Tattoo. We, oh, you, no, I don't know about that. I think oh, I'm going to have to cover we were kind of like, okay, okay, at all of them until the Einstein comes up. I don't, no, 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 no. My favorite, can I just say my favorite is the alien? I don't know if you got a good look at that. That thing is hilarious. Look, I need to see it. it looks like, put aliens you know what it exist. looks like? It looks like from um, Rick and Morty, the floating heads that came to like make them play uh, rock music or whatever. I haven't seen it. I've only seen a few episodes of Rick and Morty so far. Uh, look, 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 look at that. Look, I was, was going to do a spaceship with lights and stuff on it, but I got like, it's, tired it's of that, it. Oh, you know what? I thought you've that, got a Mexican whose hat fell off. Yeah, it looks like a cowboy I, hat I, I thought that was like a, a Heisenberg with his hat <laughs> off. He doesn't know that reference. He was in prison at the time. No, what, I Heisenberg, started in 2008. 
experienced blue chew, you're going to have some tremendous breath if you get some smart mouth. And the perfect complement to all of that <laughs> is lock and load. Lock and load. Where the fuck is the read that that guy wrote for oh. us? If you scroll up, there's a read in the chat. It's the dawn of there we go. This is the this is the weekly winner of the read that I should have pre-screened, but let's just do it. Lock and load. <laughs> it's 2005, and you've just watched your first dial-up 480p porn scene on your mom's e-machine. Even at a mere 15 years old, you were ashamed at the puddle of the male talent you produced. Fast forward to today, you got a smoke show girlfriend, and you're ready to impress her. Thanks to lock and load, she'll be going snorkeling after tonight's date. Never will, <laughs> <laughs> never will she be ashamed of your voluminous... Uh, load. load. Yeah. That's right. Our proprietary blend offers enhanced semen volume. <laughs> Gorilla has partnered with Gorilla Mind to offer a cutting edge formula proven to enhance sperm volume and health. Our formula includes the highest quality supplements, which is just what you'll need to impress your partner. PKA viewers get an exclusive discount when they use code PKA at checkout. So don't look like a to gulp chump and get your volume enhancing bottle of lock and load today and save money at checkout with code PKA caution. This product can cause eye damage or irritation when used improperly. Is that a poke you in the eye reference? I it means if you bust in someone's eye, it's going to get all red. It's going to get all, <laughs> gonna look. You, you know what it looks like, Kyle and Woody, when you accidentally come in, in your, your, your gal's eye, it really does. It, it really, it, it looks so like they're dumb. stoned to shit. I'm so dumb. Whenever I hear like, I thought the ad read was over, but the, when I heard the disclaimer, I thought that Derek had thrown in a new disclaimer, and I was like, no. "Did someone break open their capsule and pour it into their eyeball?" <laughs> like, like thinking that that was gonna like, 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 like be a, a quicker Did it make method? you give you more tears nope. or something. It was a <laughs> joke from that guy. So shout out to that guy. Right. <laughs> we should, we I was worried. Name. I was like, "What did someone do?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, it, we should. We talked about lock and load enough already. Yeah, we don't have to go on and on about it. Um, but uh, but yeah, buy it. Link down below. Uh, use the coupon code, and the coupon code applies to I, I believe all the shit on Derek's website. So uh, I'm I took my final <laughs> 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 uh, Come back, going back to the bunk bed. I uh I always choose the the top bed, and I have one reason why. When I was when I was sixteen, I went to my mates. Uh, they had like a farm, and uh. People would go there. There was like it was like their family sort of cabin sort of thing, but they had like fuckloads of bunk beds in there. And I was sixteen. It was like the first time I got really drunk and uh, drank all fucking night. And I fell asleep on the top bunk, like above mm -hmm. one of my mates. And during the night, I was so drunk that I pissed the bed, and it just like <laughs> so oh, went through the bunk. <laughs> and he's just like, it's it's raining. <laughs> So I'm, like, oh. I'm, never, I'm like i'm never picking the i'm never picking the bottom bunk in case i do uh, that happens but if to you me. had picked the bottom <laughs> there would be no victim you belong on the bottom slush no no i want to piss on him <laughs> I enjoy that uh, okay. that was yeah. part of the grand scheme that was yours. <laughs> lock and load that link is below have huge comes all over your boyfriends and girlfriends <laughs> Whoever you want, your parent, <laughs> yeah. I mean, your dog, your cat, it. your kitchen table. I mean, really, these loads should be a centerpiece, a display. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge part of the show. It's all we're going to talk about now until we, yeah. until we One sell One thing that would be ship. cool is if you went through the process, whatever it takes to get your load. What, what would you say? Three weeks, six weeks, something like that before you've achieved things? I'd say and then if you, two weeks. if you tweeted them to Taylor, that'd be so funny. Yeah. Or, or to Kyle or to Woody. <laughs> you want to send those straight to business at pkaonline.com. <laughs> yes, send. send but if there, it doesn't, we need a pre and a post you know, so we can see how much your volume has increased. So check it out. Like, no, boys, it's a legit product. You're going to need Me yourself a three milliliter <laughs> syringe mm. and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a pack of cheap jimmies. All right. And you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna come in the condoms. You're gonna draw out the semen. You're gonna be able to mm. measure it to the milliliter, okay, or mm. to the fraction of the milliliter. You might need multiples, okay. Um, by the end of my, um, my, uh, my my transition, nine milliliters, nine milliliters of fluid. That's what we were producing with lock and load. An incredible, incredibly stout, viscous, foamy, hot load. Yeah. This is three. It's it's milliliters, yeah. so it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot for cum. <laughs> it's a, a lot. huge <laughs> amount of cum. It's so a gargantuan load. load. The viscosity is impressive. I use it to lubricate my truck. 
Yeah. <laughs> I use it to lubricate other people's trucks and parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a vial of my medication is like 10 milliliters. So it's like 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 nine is enormous. Mm -hmm. Enormous. And it's not gonna give you like a watery load. It's gonna mm -hmm. be thick. It's gonna it like you wrong. Yeah, it's like here's the question web. though. What if what if I inject a normal man? With my with my with my load after I've been taking the load stack for some, you'll get time. pregnant. You'll go to prison. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, he wants it. He wants. Oh, it. He wants it. Okay. Yeah, this is consensual. Then that's fine. Oh. And, and I, that, and I yeah. do mean with the syringe, like right into his vein. Like, yeah. Like if he we, said do it, then you wouldn't get in trouble. It would like, probably kill him. No, it like, sounds the, like you what, added an unnecessary middleman. In this yeah. Process. Would you well, like to come into a condom? Oh, don't be crass. Don't be gross. I'm being sexy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's finally out. Someone... I, I know. I know that there were people who didn't believe that we were actually making something called lock and load that made your made your loads bigger. Um, I told my dad about this about six months ago. He thought it was <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, my dad liked it too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it took a long time. Thought it was a really funny idea, but that was embarrassing to explain. I'm hoping my dad doesn't know about it. <laughs> well, go forth and be, hey, go forth to be fruitful. Am I right, mom. Dad? Let's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom's the word, Mom. Yeah, um, yeah, but but finally we're here. This isn't uh, this isn't a joke. It's not Tilk, which was my uh, fake titty milk uh, company where we were going to sell hmm. not just to babies because why do they get it all? That was our slogan. Fair. Mm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this is a real product with real formulations, science, technology, math. Yeah. All the sciences. Nice. Involved. Geometry, the shape of the Most of the math was counting the pills, if we're being honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's that's how you can tell this is gonna, you know. Honestly, it, it would have been way easier to be like, just take one pill a day, but to get to the amounts needed that Derek yeah. was like, we need oh. efficacious dosages. The first text he sent to us in the group, he was like, guys, it sounds silly, but is 18 pills a day too many? And we, <laughs> literally, the number was literally it was 18. And we're like, dude, Derek, I know, but we got to get it to less than 18. The, the monthly box, or it was enormous. Enormous. And, and it was after like science and, and really figuring out how to like get more in there that he's like, I got it down to nine where it's going to be nine. It's, yeah. That's how many nine's, it's going to be. Nine's <laughs> good. Nine's yeah. good. Single digits. Single it's digits. 39 mm -hmm. bucks. Coupon code PKA is 10% off, and there's a link in the description. I'm excited for this. Yeah. I, honestly, yeah. I've been waiting for you guys to, to make this because I come like eight times a day. I'm ready to just wow. repaint yeah. my walls here. Like, seriously. <laughs> um, this is perfect but, for you. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a green screen like you, and not to spoil the illusion here, but, you know. Yeah, um, because this, this room's not gonna be brown anymore after. <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're, we're going to have a few different challenges. We're going to, uh, we're going to have. Um, one challenge that involves distance, obviously. <laughs> we, we want a distance champion. Uh, then, of course, volume. And mm. uh, I, I have one gentleman. He's been he won't leave me alone, but he said he thinks we should have a an acidity contest. <laughs> I, I, he's the only one. He's the only one. He's just a few. He's like, come on, get a few pH does he, strips. Does this does guy he, burn his girlfriend by chance? Yeah. He mentioned he, something about that. Does <laughs> he take vinegar shots or something? Like I have to maybe. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> he yeah. No, we have a, a friend of the show who um, has a difficult time making love to his girlfriend because mm. his semen is so uh, 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 acidic. I remember what this guy. What a yeah. creative way for his girlfriend to say, I don't want to fuck. Right? right. <laughs> <laughs> say no. No, no. It's 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 chemistry. <laughs> it's like a chemical burn, uh, but invisible to the eye. <laughs> Maybe it really is. I, I'm like, would facials give her one of those like Middle East scarred women? Who maybe she needs to she needs to sneak in a couple of alka seltzer into her vagina next time before they have sex and turn herself into one of those high school <laughs> volcano projects. <laughs> this is genius. What do you use for those like vinegar and bacon? You just fill yeah, the, yeah. the girl's pussy with vinegar and bacon. <laughs> That's the only he way I can bust. He finishes and he's like, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I more get off on you having to handle the mess. I'm out of here. <laughs> Zach? Hot load producer Zach has given a chemical burn to a girl before. It just says I've given a chemical burn. We that really sounds yeah. Story. That sounds like that, that was an honor mean. killing. That yeah. has nothing to do oh, with this. My game. bad. No, I was yeah. like, has to visit mom. Is there a link between fertility and acidity? This guy had three kids by the time he was like fourteen, maybe. That's why he's called <laughs> Hot Load Zach. That's right. That is oh, oh, Jesus Jesus come. Come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is Very, a real thing. Okay, I thought it was another creative way to say I'm not down to fuck right now. Um, <laughs> it clearly didn't work. Yeah. 
no, she's she's clearly not allergic enough. <laughs> if the <episode> <laughs> but, uh, so you you mentioned we glossed it. Did fall some prison blues though. We okay, didn't right. rock. That's Jailhouse Jailhouse rock would have been better. There. But... Is it possible you could just play anything? Just what when we were in there? Or you mean right oh, now? Right now. Well, let me see here. I, I think I probably could if you guys want me to. Yeah, I'm gonna play it too well, and we're gonna get struck. No, like like Woody, <laughs> Woody and I are both fascinated by by people who speak multiple language languages and can pick up an instrument and make it make music. Yeah, it's a thing is... that we can't do, and we're jealous. I learned pretty good Spanish while I was in there. On that note, God damn, That's stop bragging. Awesome. All right, we'll play a fucking need... Spanish song, asshole. <laughs> make us feel real bad. <laughs> play Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know the words, but that's the chord. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, a, that's what I thought the words. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a plug one. Might be a little out too. Nah, it sounds pretty good. I, just All right, I'm trying to think. I mean, tune. oh, we got unplugged one time for playing a particular song. We actually got unplugged. You do play concerts in there. You play in, concerts in the middle of the a inmates? concert. They just shut you down, made you silent. They unplug you. They literally pulled the power out. I'm a little out of tune here. You guys were rocking too hard. What was about the subject matter? Apparently. If I could ever hit this D note in two. Was it Columbine again? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been a way better Doubling story. down. The Columbine blues. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is what we started off with. And they pulled the plug on us about the middle part. We started off with, comes in with a big four of these. Two, two three, four. Three, three, four. And this song was actually removed from the prison if you three players, so we should know. Uh, Anybody recognize it yet? Yeah. I wish I could play an instrument. That's great. <laughs> yeah, this guy actually has talent, and he learned it in prison. I haven't been in prison the past six years, and I don't know how to do anything. Killing in the name of. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no, no. <laughs> we're gonna do a joke though. We're gonna do a joke. All right, we're gonna do this part. Hold on, let me think. So we're coming in with that next part. It goes with the. Now you do what they told you. Now you do what they told you, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to do the, yes, sir, I will do what you tell me. Yes, sir, I will do what you tell me. Yes, sir, I will do what you tell me. Yes, sir, I will do what you tell me. But they didn't even let us get to that part. Once we got to, oh, so no. those the workforces are the same that burn crosses. The cross burners immediately pulled the plug on it. They were like, no, you're not calling us out in front of everybody out here. Uh, that's amazing. That's awesome, man. It. Thank you for that. That's really cool. Had a lot of time to practice. Did, Sorry, uh, I use on my Twitch streams a lot. Crazy Train Solo. Ooh, I flubbed one again. It's not that I didn't believe you, That's but it's awesome. kind of cool when you tell a story. Like, oh, I, I did nothing but play guitar and study music theory. And then it's <laughs> like, hey... As proof, why don't I jam out four different songs real quick? <laughs> Just like, bang out yeah. a few of the classics, a few of right? the staples. See, like, yeah. Like, head on, and like, this angle. Like, you know, yeah, as I mean, soon as I move more than that, it doesn't work anymore. But Have you considered, good. like, making a workout plan? Like, just ass day and just, like, chest flies. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and that's it. And you're just, like, no, no curls, none of that shit. Like, that's really optimize about- yourself. That's the thing about being a vegetarian is that pretty much every meat substitute is pure protein. I think I was talking to Kyle about it too. Uh, that like the the stuff I've been eating is I've been I, people take the uh, the piss out of me. That's like I don't work out upper body. I don't need to. Like mm-hmm. me just lifting a few boxes around the house, which I rarely do, gets me like strong enough, like like average or but like I'm, I'm pretty I'm a pretty strong guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope I don't really measure up to you three, but still, you know, I'm not doing too bad. But like it's all ninety five percent protein in that. It's like my micro micro protein, micro protein. It's made like mushrooms. And people took the mick that I I was saying oh, I gain muscle really easily, and then I proved it with the fact that I looked into what I was eating. Oh. So what, if I keep mushroom? doing squats, I'll have a giant ass. Hopefully, do it up. Yeah, <laughs> then you won't need those underwear. Exactly, it'll hmm. be That's powerful. The plan. How much money? How, how much of a donation are we going to need for you to get actual breast implants? I think that's what everyone wants to know. I've said how much it would be. I think it, I, I, the number changes all the time, um, but it depends how long they'd be for. Because there's everyone's got a number for like how long Until for a like year. Finish. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> uh, 
All right, so breast implants for uh, 20 seconds. I don't know about that, but <laughs> people say a lot of the time for like a year. And there was, have you heard of that story about the guy? The, oh my god. I just think just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got breast implants for a year as on a bet for a hundred grand. And they just ended up keeping them. But my yeah. opinion of that was like, yeah. My opinion of that was that a hundred grand is kind of low to get tits for a, for a year. Like, and they're not small either. They're not A cups. They're like, they're like proper implants. Yeah, they have to uh, blur them out. So what's yeah, the number? Yeah. A hundred thousand dollar boobs. I think it'd need to be enough money that I wouldn't need to work, right? If it was forever, I'd, it'd be in the millions. Yeah, you definitely you leave them in there for a few months or something. I mean, they're gonna need a while to heal up and like, like, eh, you know, like, like you're not gonna immediately. All right, they're healed. Time for another surgery. I'd do it for out. a year for like three hundred because they, it leave, if you took them out. Three dollars and pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah, three dollars grand, or pounds. We'll make I it like three thousand dollars right now. We'll start scheduling <laughs> the doctor. It costs more than that. I'd be out money. You would. <laughs> yeah, you lose money to get breast implants. Yeah, uh, Doctor Nick will throw them in there for five hundred bucks. <laughs> That's God. And I, I imagine if you Dr. if you Nick. got them if you got them and then you got rid of them, like your skin would look really fucking bizarre, right? No, I uh, imagine a plastic surgeon's removing them too. And he would yeah, uh, they. Uh, right. I think I, I made that complaint because I always see like the girls, like trans uh, trans men, like when they go from men to, uh, from women to men, they have like a bit of scarring because obviously that's yeah. a lot to move. Yeah. But a breast implant is just what I showed you, these right. right, but under you, under the skin, and I think they go in from like your armpit yeah, or something. Yeah. I just push them in, yep. and then you maybe have a tiny bit of scarring here. And then yep. that was the that was my mm -hmm. like they're just squashing every complaint they often that I have had. to I've move your women. nipple though. I've seen women that have a long scar underneath their entire boob. Is that bad mm. doctors or that's, different yeah, procedure? That's a, that, there, there's a couple ways to do it, and there's a couple ways to place them. They, they can go in, they can go in from the bottom, and they can go in from the side. When they go in from the side, we you underestimate just how stretchy skin is, like because yeah. they make this tiny little incision and they shove a fucking Oof. turkey in, into it. They're just like they've got a tool and they're just like working it roughly into that hole. They're just rawr, 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 packing this huge thing under there, but you want it under the muscle uh, from what I understand, not like, but just like skin and then implant when you feel implants feel gross. They feel uh -huh. like water bottles for the most part. Sorry. Anybody out there who's fake titties. They don't, they don't feel good. They can do better um, ones. Yeah. Though. I'm sure they can, but uh, the fat implants too. You can do that. They don't look as like, perfect though i've heard like they don't look as they don't look like just orbs instead <laughs> which a lot of them yeah. end up looking like but uh i've heard of that something interesting was brought up to me i've heard you can get 24 hours implants so genuinely on un like unironically you can get there's women that are like i couldn't find a use case for it un unless like uh, a, you know, a woman's got like a really fancy date to go to or something. And she just wants a bit of a. She really wants to deceive a rich man. Yeah, a re a really a bit of a boost for something because it it lasts twenty four hours. They inject like uh saline, I think. Ooh. And that's what it is. Yeah, I don't think it's like for like a guy to like have. D you don't get D cups out of that, but you get maybe maybe a size up or something. Yeah, I think oftentimes with implants, they have to move your nipple to another area too to make it like point the right way God. so that's a thing they move it back <laughs> no no he's saying that <laughs> repositioned like, let's yeah. see oh. what would it be is it that nipples boobs, upside down <laughs> if the boob sags and then they like put it under the muscle now it's like pointing down they need to like take that no. nipple, reposition it in the proper spot can look up it yeah, can no, be tricky i think a better question would be how much for you guys because i'm already i'm already deep in the hole here like my number is <laughs> right. probably gonna be a bit lower or mm -hmm. maybe higher, because I know how much I probably get. But like, I kind of want to know individually how much. How big? Like, like, like some just, big honkers? Just absolutely bananas. Oh, I'd man. say like C cups are pretty normal. Like they're the least um, but noticeable. You couldn't hide that. I would really. get C cups and keep them for a year for, I think a million dollars would do it. I think a million would do it. With the surgery paid for, all the expenses and everything. Yeah, yeah. You get, you get cash, a million. Or tax yeah. free, and, and I would uh, that would be pending speaking to the plastic surgeon and making sure that we're going right. to get back to something normal by the time <laughs> we're done. Um, yeah, can I, I like, can I have him do lipo while he's there? <laughs> <laughs> well, they just move it. 
Yeah, just just take all yeah. my all my oh, late right. night just take all my late night binge eating and just make it hot. Ah, right up to the tips. <laughs> yeah, probably about a million. I just I can't imagine like getting out of the shower, putting my glasses on, and oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I can get a million five. I think if people hear a million five, they think a million, but it's significantly more. That's what that's my negotiation. That's tactic. a million after tax, <laughs> right? Oh, good point. Mm. Uh, the, Damn, my number's definitely <laughs> lower, which is a bit. I was gonna say like for me like three hundred grand or something, but you would you okay if you were gonna do it, especially I want Taylor as well. Yeah, because you two, Kyle, uh, Kyle and Taylor, you're both fucking jacked at this point. Like you're both too muscular to look good with boobs. Uh, <laughs> so no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> You'd pull it off. Yeah, don't judge my porn. You you I don't know. I I would. I just look so absurd. I would be I'd too embarrassed to go anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that that would be that would suck. But then also like a million, one point six million dollars, like I originally said. Hmm. That's, <laughs> that's that's a that's a what what, good what if money. some like what if what if some Saudi billionaire like throws five million dollars at us and 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 this time yeah. three months from now we all have tits sitting here and we're all just like. What were we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what he's like, I'm already a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> what were we 22 thinking? Years. It's thrown off my flight patterns. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the difference between having $4 million and having $5.5 million is, Kyle? Tits. You've got tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> uh, Lots of back pain. And my <laughs> wife won't sleep with me. <laughs> I mean, if it's a one year thing. Right. I, I could mm. I could see that for sure. I lo- what, what's that one? I feel uh, like for one year, right, Jackie would whore me out. She'd be like, yeah. for another million, you could fuck him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. You've got an expensive yeah. asshole. I, mean, like, I don't mean to brag, but yeah. And you wouldn't even be able to tell. At least, like, I have so much chest hair. You wouldn't be able to tell the scars after it was done. It would just be good I'd, to go. Ideally, it's a minimal scarring thing. I have thing. no chest hair. You've seen my chest. There's the, I, I, I'm, I'm, like a, I'm like a hairless cat over here. Yeah, Kyle. L-L-A, girl. Kyle, I've been going on deep Reddit beat-off um, spirals <laughs> because I've been trying to not watch porn so much because I've been desensitizing uh, myself to the point where it takes like... 20 minutes in tremendous grip strength to get myself off when I'm beating off. <laughs> Tolerance off. break. I get you it. In your grip. It, it, you need yeah, your grip. I, maybe. It, One just, of these. I, you know, okay. You can, in, in addition to a, a herpes med tutorial, you can teach me how to jerk off properly. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think, I, I, I've noticed that like so few women like know how to like operate their own vaginas. And I can only imagine that it extends to men and their penises. Like, like I don't, I, I bet the average guy doesn't know how to like, flexes like kegels to like make a cum shot really hit the other side of the room like <laughs> like, like uh, i see guys that's that's functional because, because like that. because like i see guys in pornos like and they're and they'll come and the cum just sort of like falls out of their penis mm-hmm. it's just like dribble dribble and i'm like i have never once came so pathetically <laughs> every time i come it's just like bam Bam! I always Bam. assumed that those Every guys time like I come, I either up. bruise her cervix or shoot flies from across the room. I, I can I <laughs> like literally, salt cannons. Look, <laughs> yeah. I, here's what I'm gonna do because I love cum experiments. I'm going <laughs> this week. I'm going to go for distance. I'm going to stand. <laughs> it doesn't even have a good ring to it. Cum experiments. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I love doing it. I'm going to stand and cum and see how far I can go. Now, obviously, it's not very. It's, it isn't fair because height. Is going to come into it. A midget wouldn't could, could come much harder than me, but he doesn't have the range because I'm firing from a higher altitude. The, the, the physics. It's, you bitch. should sit off the side of what I assume is your standard height bed and do it from a seated position. I have a we rather tall call bed. It the Olympics. And I've got to come in my living room <laughs> because I need. I you need you need like hardwood because, so that you can like find every little bit of cum and clean it up. I'm not coming on my carpet. Well, then what are you? We might lose the farthest dot. I might lose the farthest dot. A mirror is the best for that, but I don't have a mirror long enough. <laughs> and you what, know what, what, what about like a dark piece of paper? Like that would sort of dim it. You know, I think I think the hardwood's going to be the and it's better for cleanup as well. Um, mm-hmm. And but, but but yeah, I'm going to go for distance. I guarantee I can come at least eight feet. At least eight feet. I guarantee it. Is you think so? That'd be I good. know so. I know so. Yeah. And so you're, you're always keeping I'll make a video. Coming. Yeah, make a yeah. video. You, we, we were not going to share it. Just send it yeah, to you us. Yeah, you're like flexing. You got like flex your abs and stuff. Like there's a whole process. Like like every time it's just like, ah, ah. Like, like, like you, you really got to put put some oomph into this. I, I swear every time I see a porno where the guy is just like coming and it's just like, 
I don't know. It's just dribbling it's like out of him. like a science fair yeah. volcano. We're just kind of barely. Him science sympathy. fair volcano. Yeah. It's my guess that this is his second shoot that day or that something went wrong. Maybe he prematured on the first one. It's not the amount. There's plenty of it. it and it doesn't matter if it's my third, fourth, fifth, tenth time coming that day. Mm-hmm. It's, it's gonna, there's going to be less semen, but it's coming out with the same ferocity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking uh, of I, masturbation, I, I how's been putting tea right into his prostate? That shit has worked out. I, I, speaking of uh, speaking <laughs> of masturbation, Dick just blown out, just <laughs> like like a heroin addict. So I was. Gonna, you think his biceps are good? You should see his fucking Vaz <laughs> Devrons or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I think it's a prostate. I think those are internal. They are. Yeah, they are. I think it's the in prostate. That does but the, but I, I, that doesn't yeah, mean yeah, you can't see them. So I've got. um have you noticed that Kyle has positively come alive since he started talking about jizz stunts? Strep yeah. throat has faded away. It's the amoxicillin, <laughs> man. He's rolling now. I, I was, I'm, just gonna, I'm fighting my way through it. We're, we're, we're 42 minutes in. I, I, yeah, I was, I was going to go to a BDSM club the other night, and I found out they didn't have air conditioning, and I was like, all right, I'm like, oh, oh my oh, god, the god. leather and the sweat <laughs> in yeah, Georgia. Oh, you know, maybe fucking AC point. in there. Like, like it's know, crowded at that place. Like, like uh, it's it's like crazy crowded. Like, like when I've been before, all. it's like. I don't know don't, how many people are in there. 150, 200. Like, obviously, you don't know the size of the room. So you're like, okay, that could be a lot or a little, but like, it's packed. So, look, I'm so, familiar with the porn uh, genre, but what happens at a BDSM club? Are you really okay. going to get laid there? Le- le- leather, are you going to see a maybe. show of some sort? Yeah. Leather, yeah. Whipping, whips, chains, so, fucking uh, so, boxing uh, gloves, you know, all um, kinds of shit. A lot of people just hang out and chill. It, and it's like a bring your own beer kind of thing. So a lot of people are just chilling, like like they go outside and they just have a few beers and like maybe they're dressed fantastically. Like the girls will wear like almost nothing sometimes or way too much sometimes. It's like, well, you you're basically cosplaying at this point as some sort of leather woman. Um, <laughs> and, and then some chicks are like almost wearing nothing. And then like dudes are wearing everything from like just fucking normal street clothes to like, ooh, I didn't need to see that. And uh, but as far as like what goes on, I, I, Woody looks confused. Like like not wearing enough clothes for my liking. You know, I like, hear like, you. No, I get. I'm thinking about what I'd wear at a BDSM club, right? You wear what you're I wearing. Think you right wear, now. Yeah, <laughs> a leather jacket. You're probably right, but I feel it. like this leather outfit, jacket. shorts and a t-shirt, isn't trying. All you, black. You, you go you all don't black. Dress yeah. up. You don't look Ooh. mysterious. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to. That, that's the thing. Like unless you're Maybe going to one that's a serious, like an actual BDSM group, right? Like there's a you know, like a club that's like, hey, come out, it's our BDSM night. <clears throat> then you maybe try, but you can just go to a club, a BDSM themed club. It's more like the ambiance and shit that people are. Fucking... No, I ain't going to no themed club. This is a BDSM <laughs> club. All right, they've got like uh, they've got like crosses to mount people on and shit. Okay? Yeah, well, like... I know, I know, but they still have that. They still like the one that I'm thinking of is put. It's put on by Leather Club, and and it's just like <laughs> they throw techno night, and then they have like a rack over there that if you want to, you can go get yourself you know strapped up and slapped around. But See, oh yeah, that transition yeah. is the part that that I I, I it's Dick Masterson. Woody, something about the human condition you don't understand. Go. Well, here I am. <laughs> like, how do you walk in there with a t-shirt, shorts, and vans on and find yourself on the BDSM cross? I'll tell Does you. Does some lady just exactly. say, you look like you... Go on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah literally. Yeah. Like, like, there are a lot of chicks at those things who like spanking dudes or spanking girls. And, uh, and like, you can just kind of stand over there where the spanking is happening and you could just sort of ask the spanker, like, hey... I would love to get on that cross and for yeah, have you to have you just beat the fucking shit out of me. Do you think we could arrange <laughs> something like that? If not, please tell me now. I don't want to be. Uh, I, I would just like a good ass whooping tonight. And and like she she she'll either say yes or no at that point. Which is which is what I always say about dating and hitting on girls. Guys will be like, "What are you talking about? How did you get her to like do that?" Like I'll talk about three ways or whatever, and they're like. How do you get a girl to do a three way? And it's like, have you ever asked a girl if she would do a three way? No. Well, all right. Well, you're never going to have a three way then if you don't start. You miss 100 of like, the shots you don't take. You miss yeah. exactly spaghetti on the wall, boys. Okay, <laughs> spaghetti on the wall. Something's going to stick. Something's mm-hmm. going to stick. I ask every girl I date if she wants to have a three way. Every oh. single one, and like 40 percent are okay with it. Dude, I had a friend that uh, we would go to the bar, uh, kind of local, and. Um, he would get drunk and he his way of hitting on women would he was he would like <laughs> he would say we'd usually sit near the women's bathroom intentionally and he would usually say as the women walked out drunkenly hey girl let me spit in that butthole now 
nine, I'd say nine. 99% of the time, 95% of the time, it would not work. But yeah, 5% of, of the time, some girls would laugh because they're thinking, who's going to fucking say that next <laughs> to the girl's bathroom, drunk as a skunk? You know what I mean? Yeah. So just fucking ask. Just, yeah, just say whatever. Like, uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> it's the Boomhauer approach. Have you guys ever seen the episode of <laughs> King of the Hill where Boomhauer <laughs> teaches Bobby how to hit on women? I haven't seen that Bobby one. is. Bobby is blown away because, you know, Boomhauer's always got hot women, like all the time. He's like the playboy of the fucking Hank Hill show, right? Uh, of, the, of the alley or whatever. He's always got a beautiful woman, like leaving his house in the morning. And Bobby's like, How do you do it? I wish Taylor were here. And, uh, and, and they go to the mall and he takes him to the mall. And, uh, and, and, and Bob, he's, he's like, Daniel, Daniel, just watch and learn, man. And he goes over there and every single woman within sight, he approaches and hits on and like they're just turning him down left and right just left and right no no get away from me what are you talking ah oh, get out of here and then like the eighth one is like oh hey how are you doing he's like hey, they don't, they don't give me a number man like, all right and then he just keeps going he doesn't stop because he got one he just he's fishing he's fucking yep. fishing and he's and, and he's catching some and he's and he's losing some and bobby's like oh oh shit Shotgun okay approach who fucking cares if like eight women turn you down if the ninth one says yes? Like it took 10 minutes to hit on 10 women. Yeah. Okay. I got all day. I got all day. And people that, who live in a very small town would care. People right? who live in a small town. You th those people, those breeders, those fucking breeders. I remember <laughs> like I was I was at my local junkyard and I was talking to a guy I went to high school with and I was like, hey man, I really need a car to blow up this afternoon because I'm about to get paid six figures to like blow up three cars and I need three fucking cars uh, and uh, and uh, th this afternoon and he's like, oh yeah, I can help you out, man. He's like he's like really, you, it's you don't mind paying for them? I'm like I'll pay you whatever you want. I was I, I was like five thousand dollars if it, if that's what it takes. I need three cars today. And he's like, oh my god, you're making that much money? And I'm like. It's it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. It's a good gig. And I'm like, what are you up to these days? He's like, well, my second, yeah, my second oldest is in trouble. Um, she she bites the other kids, um, so I'm I'm dealing with that. You know, she's a biter, and uh, and my my she's my be oldest popular in a few my, years. My oh oldest God. is about to start playing <laughs> t-ball though, you know. So I'll get to go to the t-ball games, and uh, and I'm just like, oh, good luck with all that, because I'm gonna go blow up some fucking cars and. And fuck some whores tonight, and, and, and they'll do it again tomorrow. Are telling all of these people <laughs> <laughs> she had one rule. Wait, but you definitely, uh, you definitely told your friends immediately after. Like Samantha showed me your tits. I mean, listen, when she was like, "All right, we'll see you later." By the time the door click, I had already picked up the phone. I'm like, "You're never gonna believe what's happening right now." So, <laughs> I mean, it happened that. Quick. Are you at that age when somebody comes over and shows you their boobs in the basement? You don't think you're telling all of your friends? No, of course you are. I was Kyle, you're keeper. not? I was a secret keeper. No, no. Oh, not in high school, I wasn't. Oh, absolutely. I am not. In high school. You know, I, I finger banged this chick and I was like, people be like, hey, did you and so and so hook up? I'm like, nope. No, nothing happened. No. Because I know uh, if I tell, it's going to get back to over. her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting any more pussy. I was, I was way too insecure. I needed people to know that I had seen a boob. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Know. I'll deal with the repercussions, but oh, you think I'm a virgin? Guess what? I saw some titties yesterday. Yeah, so technically, you're <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> so I don't know how it works, but I don't think I'm a virgin anymore. <laughs> Both my arms are broken, so I couldn't beat off right now. I've kept that shit quiet for 18 years now. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody will ever know who's my finger banged in the back of that car. I, you know, I, I, somebody <laughs> finger banged, somebody was finger banging this girl in the, in the um, front row of my show in Cleveland. Oh no. <laughs> really? Oh, so okay. Yeah. I have to tell you guys. I am an outward like I talk about it a lot. I like weird shit. If you follow me on social media, I post weird news stories. I like weird things, right? And so because I talk about it a lot, I have weird things happen at my shows. I think it just you know, a couple weeks ago in Dallas, I saw a human dick. Well, I see those all the time. Yeah. No. I showered. Somebody today. else's? Yeah, I showered. Don't judge. Today. I mean, not often. But... <laughs> okay. Someone I asked would... me. I, I won't derail you. Yeah, I was. Ahead. It was in Dallas. Dude was in the front row. He was wearing a kilt. And we started talking, and he was like, "Yeah, I do some of." The... He was like on one of those smaller wrestling circuits on East Texas or whatever. And he he did the whole Irish thing. He had a red beard, and 
And I go, but you're not wrestling tonight, right? And he goes, nah. I go, why the kill? And he goes, well, tell you the truth. When I started doing this gig, the more I wore it, the more comfortable. He said, it's so humid down here. This kilt is like a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. I said, but are you, are you wearing underwear? And he said, I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody else. You got to lift the kilt to find out. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I go, I want you to know you are challenging the wrong dude. <laughs> I'm in it. I am here for lifting your kilt, dude. Yeah. So he was in the front row. And by the way, just to make him more uncomfortable, because he he was trying to alpha me. By, yeah. He just leaned back and was like, lift it up, you know? So how did I, I'm like, how can I make him uncomfortable? I got on my knees. <laughs> he's like and he, oh this he, is the worst thing ever you know yeah <laughs> no, right you're, now is you're gonna you're, uh... show me <laughs> yo kyle if he had gone like this i don't know what i would have done that would have been the move yeah well what he said to me was he goes do you have to get on your knees and i was like yeah i do and he was like i don't like that and i was like yeah that's why yeah, that's, that's why i'm doing it so i don't i didn't know this about the kilt kilt has two sides one side, when you lift it, is just more kilt. Mm -hmm. And I lifted that side first. He goes, nah. And this was funny. He goes, I hide the Easter eggs on the other side. And I was like, oh, we got jokes here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I lifted up the other side. Yeah, human dick. No underwear. <laughs> and, and, I don't know what I expected. You know what? Turned out a human dick. He, I human totally dick. thought he was reptilian. <laughs> By the way, this dude, this dude, all potatoes, no meat. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. he, he, oh, his yeah. dick looked like it fell asleep on his nuts. Just kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was sad. What was wow. his reaction? And it's you, hot and humid out too. That's, that's he laughed. We all, I mean, it was the crazy, because this probably took between talking to him and the build up to lifting it up. And it probably took the first 13 minutes of my set. It was amazing. <laughs> it was mash, no bangers. It's, dude. I, Here's what I, my shows are like that. But like, if you come to my early show, a lot of times it's a completely different show, late show. I'll yeah, do different, I 100% sure. do different material. But I, I, you know, I've started playing, I play my guitar some, I bring people on stage. It's like a living, breathing thing. So when this dude was there in the front row with his kill, that was like, fuck yeah, let's, let's milk this for as long as they should be. No, that'd be hard. To I, I got a question for Finn. Yeah, I don't like that. When you, so you've come to the last two at least uh, fifty dollar Patreon hangouts, yeah. And when you are there, you get attention just like the hosts do. Does it feel like work almost answering interview questions, being the center of attention? No, this is awesome. I love this. <laughs> this is okay. so cool. Um, right. It's were, were you the in the were, were you in one of the ones where the guy did DMT? He did that. Oh, he I saw them talking twice. about it. Yeah, he. he yeah, I don't think yeah, Minster was so, there for that. <clears throat> So yeah, we've been talking about DMT a lot lately, and uh, and our fifty dollar patron group is made up of a lot of really interesting people and a few degenerates here and there. And uh, not that uh, this gentleman's a degenerate. Yeah, I was gonna but, say but, I don't call us. No, uh, he's very clean cut. Him like, like that. Successful cool guy. I guy. like him. Yeah, yeah. there are all this stuff. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's some there are some. It's there a mixed bag. A few <laughs> autists mixed in. Uh, there, there's there's some there's some guys that look like they smell. I never um, miss one. <laughs> we're talking about it like we're above them. We're part of it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we're the ring leaders of these yeah. people. So it's just like, <laughs> like, like we're just being honest. Like, like, like if you if you could, we say this to their faces, they they know who they are. Um, but but this guy was, we were talking about the DMT, and he's like, oh, yeah, I got some right here. And he pulls out the vape or whatever, and we're like, dude, do you want to do it? Like, no pressure, because, you know, there's like 25 people watching you. Do you want to do it? Like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And he's just like, took a few hits of that thing, and he went to another fucking place. It was cool to watch. You were I doing a really it. good job, because Kyle started, like, trying to be the... What, what what is the, the shaman the oracle, the shaman i guess yeah, i like oracle like, more yeah the oracle <laughs> yeah you're, you're like you're walking what do you see and he's like sitting there and like i didn't know what i expected from dmt i expected him to hit it and then immediately like be comatose and then we're like man i can't wait to hear what he says in 15 minutes but like it was really like he was sitting there he was 30 he's like there. he's, he's he smiling listening. like at our jokes and stuff and it's like what do you see and he's like a whole line of fractal shapes and collars and kyle's like walk towards the shapes the closer oh, wow. you get to the shapes you're gonna start to walk through them and you can look side to side and you can see the shapes like a forest do you see that and he's like yeah i do <laughs> see that and and it went swimmingly he like came out of it 
He was like, Kyle, you're really persuasive. You're good at that. And just a like tremendous amount 20, of power. Yeah, huge amount of power. Everybody's being <laughs> very, trust. very chill. Everybody's being very chill with them. Everybody's being respectful, being quiet. And then maybe 20 minutes later, he goes, I'm ready to go back into the matrix. And so <laughs> and this and apparently there's a rule in DMT I didn't know where that Kyle seemed to be familiar with, where like you take two hits and like you're like kinda he took two at first and he was kind of middling. And this time he took three big old hits. That's the it. ticket. And he was visibly fucked up and Kyle starts to walk him through this. Like, what do you see? And he's like, everything's shaking and moving. And it was at that point, probably should have known he did too much. And then dirty piece of shit that he is. Like, <laughs> like, uh, but, look, can, can I, Kyle's, yeah, you go ahead. You I, 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 I'm like, I'm like, what's the most predominant color you see right now? He's like gold. And I'm like, look up. There's a waterfall of gold. It's flowing down over you. Look up and you can feel it flowing and washing over you. The warm gold happiness. <laughs> I'm like, and he's and he, he has a little grin on his face because he's seeing this shit. Yeah. And I'm like, now spread your arms wide. And he does it. And now you can fly. You're going to fly straight up through the waterfall. And I'm about to tell him that he's going to burst through a, a pane of glass into another dimension. And we're about to get wacky with, with, with this little mm -hmm. guided trip. And Dirty dirty pops in the room and he goes, you're on fire! You're on <laughs> fire and it burns! <laughs> <laughs> and like everybody else knows and in the whole chat, like Kyle's like, let's go ahead and keep that to a minimum. Let's not do that. <laughs> and the other people are like, shut the fuck up. He did. He did it repeatedly until I yeah. server muted him. Yeah. yeah. I was going to make a golden fire. shower joke at that. But the first thing you came up with was the golden oh, I, shower. My head went to the lava gold. Too. I'm like, that molten gold is, f don't fuck around with that, Kyle. But I kept it <laughs> but, to myself. But, yeah. So like, so like Dirty got me. Apparently he didn't hear Dirty. So like no harm done. It's mm -hmm. weird they didn't hear him. He said he didn't. But who knows? Maybe part of him heard it and caught on fire, and it's 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 existing in another realm right now. And he said he he, he he like fractured his soul like fucking something out of oh, Harry yeah. Potter, and it's burning yeah. somewhere right now, and can't get back to his brain yet. And uh, yeah. but but no, then he then he started convulsing a little bit and vomited on himself, and it was a it was a rough sight. It didn't look that part did not look fun. He was just like <laughs> and like spit up like a baby would, like this thick white yeah, mucus. Yeah. Like, yeah. like coming down his face and it was like ooh this is the dark side of DMT they don't and tell it, you about it it was funny that it looked like like baby spit up because I don't think anybody caught it he was like when he came back a little like 20 minutes later he was totally fine he was like I wanted to fucking have broken glass in his asshole I don't know why yeah man I don't know how you get to that point like, like I can totally get like kink and like I don't know how that can kind of progress over time Oof, and like, like, like there are girls who like oh yeah like a little spanking and then the girls who were like Fucking go to town, and, you're, I've and had, there's girls who are just like, yeah. "That's all you got, bitch." And I've had girls like, be bleeding. like, "I've had girls be like, punch me in the face." I'm like, "I'm not gonna punch you in the face." Oh, yeah, yes. I've, I've had that. I'm like, "Listen, yeah, can't do that. It's just can't we're, we're the, <laughs> you're a couple years too late for this one. Can't do I'm it." I'm not closing yeah. my hand. I won't. Yeah, close I, hand. I can't. No, can't close the hand. No. Can't close the hand. No I've visible signs. I'm sorry. I've smacked some <laughs> bitches around, but but there's no way I'm like gonna. <laughs> gonna sock you one like, like i don't think you know what you're asking for here like like i'm you... not into that i can't like like personally it would turn me off i can't do it i'm sorry yeah. I, 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 i'll slap you with an open hand but i'm not gonna punch you in the face i, I can't they, do that they've yeah it's just like they're like fucking whale on me i'm like i will knock you out bitch like i can't i literally can't or like ch have you ever choked a girl unconscious Jesus. no i've choked them too hard uh, <laughs> to where Jesus. <laughs> to where they, well, uh, I never. So they, dude's unconscious. Yeah. Well, <laughs> BJJ? Oh, that's hardcore. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, if, I mean, you should have said no. <laughs> I was about to say, if you said no, I'm like, you should have said yeah, that too. Yeah, BJJ. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, BJ. Yeah, minus one. <laughs> no, <shade>. BJ. Yeah. <laughs> minus one. <shade. laughs> oh, man. If, if Woody would have said that up. in the moment, I would have had to mute my mic laughing so much <laughs> the, the comedic timing would have been amazing no i i um, choke girls unconscious um like 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 she's like riding me and like squeezing her neck and like like careful to like get her carotid arteries on either side not and not like do a like a um, not strangle her but choke her because there's a big difference and uh and like she like passes out and goes completely unconscious on top of me and then i let go and then she like comes back to life like a <laughs> like a fucking marionette or something like a jack and we're the still in the middle of sex and she's just like oh, oh! <laughs> and she's she loved it why does she, she sound it. like mickey mouse after coming thought, back? i mean that's what you sound like when you oh, okay. just died in the middle of sex and came back to life. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough 
Uh, I had a girl one time riding me on, on top and choking me, and I didn't ask for it. Have you been choked out? Unconscious? I've not been choked out, but I remember like she stood it pretty hard. She stood you know what? Hands. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, can you not do that? Like, stop, you know? And she's like, not listening or something. She's like, in the <laughs> moment, she's in the zone. I'm like, hey, can you fucking not do that? So I had to, I remember I had to do this thing where I like, I grabbed her by the forehead and then I did like a, I don't even know how you call it, like a wrestling kick out. Like you're kicking out of a <laughs> pin. And I had to like basically face Palmer into the ground. I'm like, you're choking the fuck out of me. Like, calm down. What are you doing? So I don't like experience. getting choked. I don't, I don't want you I don't to like choke me. Like, like, like yeah, I've, I've, I've had, I've had girls choke me, and I'm just like, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> like Donald Tuck, like, yeah. not even like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> or like, or I like stop pulling my hair, and I'm just yeah. like, stop, stop pulling my hair. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Don't that do fucking, that. That fucking hurts. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> mm. oh, well, good, times. good times. Good times. <laughs> yeah. My dad Classic. used to do the same thing. Great. Pull your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, thing, the key to pulling hair is you got to pull a lot of hair. Yeah. You can't just pull a little. That hurts. But if you mm -hmm. pull, like, the whole head, then you're doing it right. Yeah, I, I got, got a, a bit of a mane. Hair. So, yeah, if you if you grab it at this length when it's longer, it's fine. But if you're if I'm, like, you know, if it's, like, Kyle's length or something or Woody's length, that's, like, that just hurts because you're grabbing, like, a little bit. Can't get enough. Like, yeah. yeah. You're just hey, I'm kinda, good to go. You can... Grab my hair, do whatever you want. You telling <laughs> this to us, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm asking. right now, guys. I'm asking. trying to find an exception. <laughs> next time, <laughs> someone's gonna pull hair on like the back of his hamstrings. I am hairless. I ain't got none. No. Oh damn! Damn it. A naked mole rat. There was a there was a really good uh, <laughs> there was a really good thing on Reddit the other day, and uh, it they did both. First, it was like um, women. Um, what's a sign? that a guy you're sleeping with has watched too much porn. And there was all these comments from women like when he starts slapping my clit or like, by the way, by the way, I've known girls who were just like all about getting their clit slapped. So, so I don't, I don't co-sign with you young lady. Okay. <laughs> some, some chicks like a good clit slapping and, uh, and, and, or they were just like, when he's just like going full jackhammer mode, like, like, and, and stuff like that. And then I, and, and I don't know. I was, I was thinking like, kind of bullshit like there's plenty of chicks that don't know what the fuck they're doing too and uh and then someone did it like, like a day or two later they're like hey dudes what's a, what's a clear sign that a chick has watched way too much porno and it was just like all of the things that i've experienced just like these rapid fire like hand jobs where it's just like what are you doing what are you, you're it's not a lawnmower what are, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing down there trying to get or all the like, corn off the cub yeah or like I, I i hope the chick that did this isn't isn't listening Dear, I'm 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 I am 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 far too polite in real life to tell you that this is awful, but she's just like slapping her face with my dick, and I hate it. I hate <laughs> it so much when she's when she is slapping her own face with my dick really <laughs> fucking hard. Like harder than I would ever slap her in the face with my dick. She's just like, <laughs> whack, whack, whack. And I'm just like, oh God, this hurts so much. <laughs> I think you get you got a little tooth on that last one. Like, like I I'm hating this. And it's it's like, or it's like so wet and sloppy that like there's spit running down my ass crack. Like, and, <laughs> like I swear to God, I That's when we get happy. up, yeah. when we get up, the bed is so there's a puddle on the bed, and it's her <laughs> spit that has ran down my cock and balls past my ass crack onto the bed. And I'm just like, that is the least sanitary thing in my life. <laughs> so like, gross, I'd rather yeah. have a dog take a piss in the middle of my bed. Then, then fucking sleep on this puddle that you have created for me. This, <laughs> this spit puddle that ran down my dick and balls through my ass crack and has accumulated here to the point that it's as big as a basketball. <laughs> Those are the yeah. two things for me where I'm just like, it's like, no, nah, it's oh, nobody man. likes this. Nobody likes this. <laughs> that's pretty awful. Uh, nobody likes this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, in this joke, I'm a pedophile guy. <laughs> 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 Thanks for laying that out for me, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you were happy to be third. I, I, I've told this before, but I, when I was like 12 or 13, I got a girl to touch my dick. Not exactly. I think it might have been over the pants or but whatever. Like, we were making out. She touched my dick. And then later, there's this phone call, right? And back in the day, you know, you get like four ears by the phone, and they're talking, asking her questions. And they asked her if it was big or not. And I'm like sweating bullets. I'm like, oh, no. Because like you, like I wasn't really sure that this was a... a gonna be okay and she said ah it was medium and i'm like 
Hits. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking media. Good enough. Good media, enough. Like a, like a shirt size. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. But like, now I look back, like, she was 13 too. She doesn't know. She didn't, It wasn't like she had a whole host of dicks to compare it to or anything. Exactly. What, what year was that when you were 13? 1987? It was in 7th right? or 8th grade. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Something like that. You might not have even hit puberty yet. So if you had a medium dick before puberty, it's a big dick now. That's yeah, the thing. I, I, I was so late in puberty, and that's where all the Imagine nervousness stems from. Imagine what 13-year-old would think of your dick now. <laughs> oh, dude, they're blown away. That's the biggest <laughs> thing I've ever been forced to present, suck in an alley. Present tense. Yeah, they, I mean. Medium they, would not be the answer. The they answer can't answer because their me mouth go. is full. But, but if they could talk, they'd, they'd be impressed. Too far. What you guys, you guys hopscotched over my fucking question about the penis size hierarchy. I gotta know. We, we've never, no, we did. I did. I, 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 I went straight on. on to that. You had a twelve-inch cock that clogs your toilet, asshole. <laughs> That's us being polite to you and not telling you that you're fucking weird. <laughs> 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 See, I made a little joke so we, so so we didn't have to point out that you you and your buddies are fucking weird. <laughs> I, I, like I don't know anybody who's ever done anything like that. Yeah. I, I, I know well, a lot of people. Now we know one person. Weird people. It, yeah, that is twenty percent of our channel is just not even dick jokes, just flesh and blood dick content. I'm just saying the pants. there's there's no validity to a non hard test. That's you know if if like. A scientist saw this, he'd be like, N not a no. I they, wonder if girls hard. know this, right? Because most guys, I think, are just intrinsically aware that there's showers and there's growers and, and the, the turgid size is not unrelated, but not directly related to the flaccid size. I think girls might not know. They might not have the same experience. I, I think women... Stupid. <laughs> I'm going to uh, pull up the definition. I'm not going to add anything. That was a good response. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't. Anybody who can't change a fucking tire, I don't, I don't need them fucking Women. judging cock sizes based on fucking some sort of braille system. Women don't even get dicks, bro. They don't get them. You that's want a man judging a cock contest, wouldn't you? Mm. That's, why I mean, I'm, that's why I'm back to all men. You're making a lot of sense. Yeah. We should, uh, what were we talking about earlier? Jerk wars? We should have a cock war right now. He, who's in? Jerk huh? wars. Uh, yeah, we have to uh, wank, uh, wank battles. Jerk oh, excuse wars. Me. Honestly, jerk wars is better. No, jerk we'll do it like better, slap yeah. fights. We'll, we'll slap each other in the face with our cocks until someone gives up. Mm. Boat walking around. We are You're... sophisticated and intelligent. This makes me appear. <laughs> Pinky up. <laughs> You're hitting it. I mean, but you're at the size of you're at the level of bigness now. Nobody's gonna make any, mm. you know, jabs or jibes at your expense. There's always a bigger fish. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you just have to. Opt Diego, not to the fight. Diego the nightmare. Diego the nightmare. He's gonna make. He's gonna do an Instagram post making fun of your douche um, nozzle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, he doesn't really have a leg to stand on because he's embarrassed himself so much over the years. But um, but but yeah, like like like. He, there's some funny clips of Diego. Like, like, I can't believe that not only is the offer bare knuckle boxing, not only is it against a trained killer, mm -hmm. but it's against one specifically that I was mocking just a few months ago relentlessly. Yeah. That's a setup. And he probably it's knows that. Yeah, I'm sure someone told know. him. I don't Tell know. Him, I, you know what? I also mock Lizzo. Can we get her in Bare Knuckle Yeah, get boxing? Lizzo in there. I'll beat the brakes off that <laughs> I'll you're fucking to... work the body. I'll be, I'll be fucking, I'll be taking my time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be doing, I'll, I'll come in there doing a kata. I'll, I'll, I'll transition, I'll transition that into the robot power down while she's out of breath. Like, like, I'll make a fool of her. But, <laughs> but don't put me in there against like a former contender for the belt. Yeah. Good God. Yeah, to put you against a pop star. <laughs> a female pop we'll star. Team. You, you, you a morbidly obese female pop called. star. Oprah, also I will fight Oprah. <laughs> like, 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 there's a long list of obese old women that I am more than willing to step into the ring with. Yeah, don't anybody say that. Barbara time. Walters, is she still alive? <laughs> I'll take yeah. those odds. That's a yes, Betty White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Betty White. Oh, just, she doesn't Rosie even know O'Donnell. Where she is. Rosie O'Donnell. I'd fuck Rosie up. Roseanne Barr. <laughs> I get oh, Hillary those... Clinton. Don't take her. She's mine. I don't even know if you're allowed to say things about her. I don't, I don't want the Clintons coming after me. But uh, but I'd, I'd, no. I'd, I'd be yeah, very You might respect... shoot yourself twice in the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like that scene from The Godfather. If, if he should if he should be shot by a policeman, if he should hang himself in his police cell, 
Failure to determine <laughs> Adderall makes you 6'2". I'm going to take some. All right. So I got two <laughs> topics here, each of them funnier than the last. I can't even decide which one is more entertaining than the other. There's Woody Contractor drama. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and there is Boogie drama. I'll let you guys um, decide. That was a let's hard choice. Start, let's let's start with boogie drama. Okay, here you and go. And then All we right. will move into because I Kyle laughing before the show at this is the hardest I've heard him laugh at anything in months. It was this link right here that made me laugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? He's looking pretty good in this picture. Someone just signed it. Someone just signed. <laughs> Frank Castle signed this petition. Up. Wait, Frank <laughs> just, Castle made a petition. I just saw that. Was he the death penalty? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the signatures are rolling in. <laughs> it's getting like his like, signature is sick. It's literally it's like, like 5,000. They're going to kill him. This <laughs> coincidental. Literally, someone is, is pushing this. Like, we're not doing this live, obviously. We're recording this right now. But someone is literally pushing this right now. This just happened that someone is pushing this and it's getting these, these signatures. It's gone up ten signatures since you brought More. it up. More, yeah. It. I, that, that's that's <laughs> gift booking. The, the, the only so, so quickly is for just those who don't know, there was, there was the incident where uh, a gentleman by the name of Frank Hassel showed up at Boogie's house to sissy hypno him. Um, <laughs> something that we don't condone. We just don't like the idea of forcible sissy hypnosis. It's got to be consensual. It's got to be consensual uh, sissy hypnosis. That's the only kind that I will co-sign. Um, and, uh, so Boogie, long story short, came outside with a handgun, fired a warning shot, and I guess charges have been brought against him by the local authorities, and, uh, it's, it would seem, like we saw on PKN, that maybe the charge is aggravated assault, and we looked into the exact definition of aggravated assault, because to me, aggravated assault is when you do bodily harm to someone with, like, grievous intent, like, like, that, that's what it sounds like to me, or with a deadly weapon, you know, like, like, when you... Not only hit somebody, but you, you hit to hurt. Right. But because there's regular like, assault too. It's a lesser. But apparently, way. like because he he had a deadly weapon, and because like it could cause the fear of uh, death. That's mm -hmm. enough to meet the criteria. I don't know if that's going to hold up in a courtroom or whatever, or, or if they're even going to pursue it. Well. Pleaded down, pled down. I'm not sure, but you know. It's yeah, likely. yeah. It just seems like the sort of thing where like. It ends up being simple assault or reckless discharge of a firearm or maybe nothing, you know, who knows. But in any case, uh, Boogie turned himself in, I suppose. And I believe this image we're, he we're seeing here is the mugshot of him uh, in, uh, in, you know, like that county jail, local police department, whatever it may be. And, uh, and so Frank here, I didn't realize it was Frank until you pointed it out has created a petition to give him the death penalty that now has 3,300 signatures. <laughs> Look, he's as, not the bad guy in this situation. He's not. As of May 13th, 8.08 p.m., there are 3,300 signatures exactly, so you guys can kind of keep an eye on that. Um, I, what, look, I would have at least expected him to smile at his mugshot. Like, show those teeth. They don't let you sometimes, right? Oh, they'll <laughs> let you. Show those you can do whatever you want. I didn't yeah, know that. I thought... Say? Huh. Can you wait? Can you so is change.org? You can just make anything. It doesn't look like the standards are very high. Person to death penalty, and you can just and then I just checked Frank Hassel's Twitter. Yeah, he tweeted it out. It's got like a thousand retweets and five thousand people. Like so, clearly Jesus. it's being driven from there largely. But Boogie's uh, so hated right now. It's it. I, it you can't. It seems you undeserved. Going, Why is Boogie so hated? Like, what did he do? I think uh, I, don't I don't even know, know if this is a hatred thing. The vibe is that it's people memeing on it. Uh, it th that's like, I haven't followed it super close, but I'm not seeing many comments like "fucking boogie getting what he deserves." It's more like, right. dude, this is like long time. The the internet turned on Bogey like a year or two ago, something mm -hmm. like that. And, and I think that that's not helping him in this situation. No, it doesn't matter. The, the, the courts won't care that the internet's mad at Bogey, yeah. but. You know, like why this has so many signatures? I think that's related to it. You know that they felt Maybe. he was the a district attorney. He's like, Your Honor, I would just like to point out this petition. <laughs> Over I mean, eight I mean, hundred thousand people have signed it <laughs> to give this gentleman the death penalty. Well, I, I this is my last day in office, and, I'm <laughs> and I've always wanted to set an outrageous precedent to death. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so like, hang him high. <laughs> 
I'm going to yeah. refresh this. Was there, uh, homicide by change.org. It could be coming to a neighborhood near you. Dude, like, Kyle, refresh. Man, refresh the page. My, mine, like, wrote, does it automatically. Like, it's like, it's refresh, rotating. please. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. Mine went down? Now I don't remember what the old number it was. It stayed exactly the same for me. Mine is, like, continuously going. Like, like I, I'm seeing, like, the names of the, sig of the signatures. Uh, like, yeah. like scrolling as they sign. I refresh. I think it went up by a hundred. Now I'm like, wait, what was it before? Mine's at three thousand three hundred and seven. Okay. What? Well, no, mine's at yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. The same thing happened know. with me, Woody, when I refreshed it. It went up. Here's a here's a comment. This is from Chad King, um, noted noted legal uh, expert. <laughs> Probably uh, a noted real name, Chad King. <laughs> Chad King. Um, uh, Boogie purposely ignored the definition of the castle doctrine. Frank Hassel should have been able to go into his house and fuck him. This is undeniable. <laughs> Boogie should be put to death to remind everyone that the law is the law. Thank you for your service, Frank. 200 Jesus people like Christ. that comment. 284 people are like, that's a good ass comment. What Boogie did was awful. It could have been one of my children in that school that he that was shot up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I don't actually twist the narrative. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't even read this ad. I just want to read it. What Boogie did was this is from Mike. What Boogie did was awful. It could Mr. have been Mike one, Hunt. It could have been one of my children in that school that was shot up. I don't actually have any children, but if I did, it could have been one of those kids who died at that school or whatever happened. What did happen exactly? I believe there's a comment in there somewhere from a Nicholas, a Nicholas Gers. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit more, Nicholas has something to say about this. Joe Biden uh, chimed in. Biden, when my wife, an educator, heard about this fat man on the internet shooting a gun in the school zone, she was furious. I, Joseph Biden, swear that we're going to do everything within our power to make sure this man is brought to the chair. Also, stimulus checks are going to be delayed another five months so we can focus all our efforts on this pressing matter. <laughs> Boogie fired a revolver in a school zone. Thankfully, Sergeant Hassel disarmed via Krav Maga. <laughs> Boogie then performed lewd acts on said firearm while the neighborhood witnessed. Boogie's sex slave roommate made the dog watch too. Clear threat to society and morality. I mean, they're making good points. Yeah, at this point, I I, Cogent. I might sign. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't realize all these details. <laughs> I didn't know about the uh, the sex acts, frankly, that, or the school that we shot out. People are, just making, boogie. people are just making <laughs> wild accusations. Sneedem Feedem says America will always stand with Israel no matter how many synagogues <laughs> Boogie burns down. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fucking Boogie. Boogie, an anti Semite as well. Who knew? <laughs> you know, based on this random guy, based, based on <laughs> the tomboy haters' comment. Actually, I shouldn't even read that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, uh, Boogie's not the bad that's guy. That's the one you shouldn't read? <laughs> Frank <laughs> Hassel is the guy that was the dick in the situation. He went to Boogie's house, hassled him, had a GoPro on his head, like, did this whole thing. Boogie didn't handle it right. He fired yeah. a warning shot yeah. into the air. That's bad, and it's more dangerous. Boogie, I think, is not a long-term... He was anti-gun a few years ago. Right. Now he has a gun. But people like that, and, and I was in this stage for a long time... Maybe they don't know the dangers of the gun. He, he probably thought a warning shot just like what disappeared, burned up on re entry of atmosphere. <laughs> like, who knows what he's thinking? But they don't realize that shooting a gun at even just a few degrees off of straight up, that bullet comes down hard That's and hurts. That's how artillery people. works. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so he didn't, he didn't realize how reckless he was being by firing a shot in the air and uh, didn't handle it right. Didn't handle it right. But also, like, I don't know. The Woody Morality Doctrine sees Frank Hassel as the bigger jerk in the situation. Well, I think we've all come down on the side of like, you, you should not show up to people's houses uninvited. Yeah. Like, that's it's really, it's an invasion. And it's not cool. I know there was like, I know that they were both on. I watched that clip of Keem Stars show where they were both on it. This is uh, back when this actually happened, where Boogie was like, if you come to my house, I'll kill you. And Frank's like, I'm going to come to your house. Are you ready to kill? Like, like just like bantering and everything but then to like to actually show up very very not cool uh clearly now anyone who has someone show up at their house should learn from this don't go outside brandishing a firearm and fire it <laughs> in the air. stay inside 
don't don't engage Put at all interact. and then call the authorities and that's it. Put don't on engage. your anti sissy hypno goggles. Okay. <laughs> put, in, <laughs> put in your anti rape butt plug and <laughs> Brent and get your firearm ready. These guys are completely it. right, except for the butt yeah. plug. This I would out good things I would could out, happen. You know what I would do? I would out sissy hypnotize him if he would be <laughs> He would be my sissy slave by the end of the day. I'd have him alpha on a chain. sissy. I'd have, I'd have him on a chain wearing a dog mascot costume by the end of the day. He'd be, I'd be like, heel. A furry I'd sissy. I'd come him. out in my ballerina costume and be like, too late, bitch. Too late, bitch. Spread. <laughs> Spread. <laughs> um, Spread? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Open your ass hatch so I can fuck you. <laughs> It's like it's like pajamas from like a 1940s cartoon. And I open the button, <laughs> two ass buttons, and then, I, and then I fuck him. I fuck a sweaty um, man in his ass. But poor Boogie didn't <laughs> ask for any of this. I, I just, the guy showed up at his house. I think he, he did actually. Wrong. Wasn't there a part where he was like, "Come on, come on." Man, there was I don't a, know for sure. Part, I'm pretty sure he literally part, said like, "Come on, part, do it, do it." He was like, "Come on, come to my house, see, see what happens." See this ties into my thing. I think people don't realize that having a gun on you makes you it can make some people feel like, you know, well, Chuck's now I'm the toughest guy in this room. You know, right. that's how it like, makes Woody feel like he, like he's ready to take the law dude, into his own I, hands. It makes Just him James. sound like an asshole, but I could I'm basically Judge Dredd at this point. <laughs> Why do you conceal carry? Like it, it it is impossible. Some people who have concealed carry are going to understand this. That there's a bit of a thought where you're like, I, 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 I am do the have law. a superpower. I, I have a remote hole poking <laughs> device. I have a remote hole poking device. I could poke holes in anything around here, right? Like, I, I, you really could. You shouldn't. It's a big problem. You'll regret it. But you do have a remote hole poking device it's in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's greatly frowned upon. Right. And, and uh, I don't know. I, I think Boogie just wasn't past that phase yet you know he's like dude i got this remote hole poking device bring it on i wish I a motherfucker said, would and it clearly it's this like is what a, happens one of those gun things where i don't know if i recall i i feel like we had conversations with boogie before about guns where he's like i don't know like you should have to learn a lot about maybe i don't want to put any words in his mouth but I, like you said I, I know he used to not be fully on board with the gun thing like it, two ten minutes in any gun class from any half reputable instructor they're gonna tell you like hey what you do if someone comes into your house you don't you're not a sniper don't go for a shot through the eye like you're john wick center mass shoot mm -hmm. to kill don't wing him in the forearm and he's gonna go whoa this gunslinger he's just oh he's giving me four wounding blows and i'm laying here <laughs> you don't shoot no. the gun out of his hand you, you don't shoot the gun out of his hand. exactly exactly they, they, they often use i'm glad you said that because they use that as an example and at least the one i went to like the, that cc you know concealed carry class like five six years ago where they're like you're not going to shoot the gun out of someone's hand who do you think <laughs> you are like and, and then like they shoot to kill and never Never fire a warning shot. I remember that lesson. And I remember even at the time being like, who the hell needs to be told not to fire warning shots? And it's like, oh, it, maybe because I live in Missouri and I have rural family, like you shot a gun. apparently a lot of people, 100% of their understanding of guns is movies. You know what they One taught us in, in my concealed carry class that I, they're like, if you shoot somebody, you have a legal problem. They, they, they taught like, don't tell the police. He's, I think they gave us, a, they're like, uh, he was in my house and I feared for my life. That's all you can say. If you're going to say anything, that's it and no more. He's in my house. I feared for my life. I need to talk to my attorney. And they're like, you're not going to convince the cops that, like, there's nothing you're going to say that's so clever and good that you don't yeah. have a legal problem now. You have a legal problem, period. And uh, it was like, ah, oh, yeah, okay. Right, right. So, like, you're just trading problems, and you have to make sure that your new problem is not worse than your old one. Yeah. Yep. Cops are trained yeah. to manipulate you with with certain questions. Like, like, right. I, like, we watched that video of the the other day of the guy getting pulled over, and he's like, "I oh, just tell me, man, have you had anything to drink tonight? You can be honest. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> yes, going to jail. <laughs> when, when someone when, when someone asks you that question, like, like when like a parent asks you, says, phrases it like that, what it, what they mean is just tell me and there'll be no consequences. When a cop says it, they, what they mean is, just tell me so we can get to the consequences. Yeah, so we can right. fuck you. Or, like, you'll see, like, like it, even those clips of, like, there's a bar fight, and, like, a cop comes up to be like, oh, well, you know, what's going on here? And, and like, 
you know, normal citizens are like, oh, he's investigating to, to discover the culprits. Like, no, he's he's trying to find any person that he just saw, like, do a defensive shove, like admit they were a part of it so that he can fuck you up and, and be like, oh, well, you just assaulted that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, they're, they're always trying to trap you. They're always trying to trick you. Don't talk to cops. Fuck cops. Don't talk to them. Even just looking at the picture behind Taylor, does he have his finger on the trigger? Yeah, that was right before he shot. That was when, well, this was right at. Well, he's like, firing was he a shot. What, so. <laughs> was he practicing any gun safety when he came out the door? He was well, like, no, he's doing I, the classic. We'll go clear over the school and so I'll be fine. But no, he did that. But this was right after, you know, he's on the inside saying, I'm coming out with a gun. And Frank yells, come out here and kill me. Yeah. Kill me. <laughs> See the video. It's, it, it is, is, it is so, so funny. <laughs> watch the whole thing the fact that they're there. dressed so much alike and look so <laughs> and look so much alike has always been comical oh, to me uh, did one of them call the other fat during this exchange god i think I hope so not. i think i think one of them gave the other one a hard time for being fat <laughs> that is funny <laughs> oh, also I, on the along those lines i want to say boogie looks thinner in his mugshot in his mugshot he yeah, does yeah he had a Correct. funny tweet uh, where, like, he subtweeted like a, a thing where it's like an arrest warrant is out for Boogie's arrest, and he's like, "Why did they use a picture from eight years ago?" Because <laughs> he's <laughs> horrible. <in the> picture. <laughs> and he's like, I, "Come on, I'm under arrest. You can't, you can't give the, me my, my in his teeth. mugshot. He should have shown off his new teeth." That's what I'm oh, saying. Like, like right. how are you not smiling? <laughs> What'd you exactly say? Kyle? What is it? He should have. He should have. He should have done like a Charlie's Angel pose, like with finger guns <laughs> <laughs> and smile. That, that would be internet perfect. <laughs> like, 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 done a Yosemite <laughs> Sam. Like, hey. Uh, <laughs> Photoshoppers get on it. Yeah, that's, oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, right. That's unless the you put him in full Yosemite Sam costume <laughs> with the hat, then it's okay. Mustache too. I can't, I can't believe this. <laughs> so is this thing still moving? I, I realized what happened when I refreshed it. Is it like backed off a couple hundred, then counted back to where it was? It's not yeah. growing like I thought. They're, they're trying to convince you that this is like actively moving. Yes. So ah, three thousand three. It's it's been up eight since uh, since yeah. I mentioned it earlier. I think I forgot what the number was previously, and like two more. You know, I don't think they're gonna buy one buy more. This. Thirty-three twenty-two for me. Is that 20, three more? Is it gonna hold twenty-five? Thirty-three seventeen. Wait, Boogie two nine eight eight signed it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is, that is an admission of, of guilt <laughs> in the state of Arkansas. Gandhi and Hitler both signed it. Believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, you rarely get them to agree on anything. This is great. I know, and the, the fact they're both dead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, what is it? 155 year old Gandhi signed the petition to <laughs> however old he was from the afterlife. For some yeah, reason, I thought you voted in the number. last election or voted. Oh. Hook this over what was there before. I wonder if we could find that. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's pretty bad. Not into it. Um, but maybe if you had really thin lips, I might just do it to a girl to, to laugh at her. That'd be funny. There's always that. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, Kyle, how long is your spork? Is it longer than the utensils in your drawer? I think so. I think so. I don't have like a... I'm, I'm, I'm shopping out, for man. a spork. I bought utensils. I'm not sure I love them. It is like full length. Like, like, like it's it's at least as long as like a standard like, like implement. So when you're camping, have you ever seen the dehydrated food that campers get? Yes. Okay. In that bag. Yeah. In that bag. And if you don't have a long utensil... Can't then you get it on your fingers and your knuckles and stuff as you uh, finish it off. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure your spork's long enough. I don't know. Yeah, you wasted. How much was the spork? It was thirty dollars, wasn't it? Fuck, I don't know. I, let me. I can. I can look real quick on my Amazon. I don't think it was thirty. I think it was probably more like fifteen. All I right. used to have one of those titanium sporks, um, oh, but I think I kicking yourself for losing it, right? <laughs> I literally am. It was like, like, <laughs> I'm looking at it on Amazon. It's totally fair. I can I see the package it came in. It's that twenty nine ninety five. Twenty. I would not spend thirty dollars on a spork. I know you would spend twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents on a spork. There's no way I would do that. Let me. I'm, I'm looking at my my past purchases. Let's see. I spent eighty dollars on light bulbs yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, that's reasonable. You need light. Well, I mean, four light light bulbs. You saw that light bulb. It's fucking sick. Mm hmm. It's that one I found on Reddit that like look uh, it's thirty dollars. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety five. Well, you know what? When you're in the market for a, for a good 
you know, sport expense is no, no, or money's no object. Money's no object. You know, you, you're just like, Hey, I, I need a good sport, you know, mm-hmm. in my life. And well, uh, you'll and be able you, to give that to your grandchildren. So. I'll be able to, <laughs> you won't. I mean, That's unless, the unless there's like a rubber thing that like allows it to do this bendy shit just breaks after like 30 uses. $30. Bungie. It'll never break. Five, 10 years later. You didn't fold it right. The, the, the spoon part has to be in the middle. Remember Wait, the, way, the way you did it the, yeah, before the, the spoon. No, turn it towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you have to put the middle part. The spoon has to be the middle part. You got to do the two fold. Taylor's over. figured out how to operate. <laughs> the, <fork you> would <laughs> see. It, it, the spoon is absolutely not the middle part. It's like this. Yeah. It's like well, this I mean, is... evidence is on my side with the slide in. Hang on, we're gonna... Yeah. <laughs> immediately <laughs> evident. <laughs> Like a fucking Rubik's cube for assholes. Look, it's stupid. Ah, I got it. No, <laughs> got it. no, no. What? You certainly. Woody, don't. who's the star of Home Alone? <laughs> <laughs> don't engage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as you finish that fucking sport. Yeah, yeah. When you, I, I'll keep my hands up and then say his name after you put that. You're giving up, aren't you? <laughs> you gotta get right <laughs> <laughs> it's Macaulay Culkin, Kyle. It's Macaulay Culkin. Down, and then this goes back. And then he's putting the spoon in the middle. There's, there's only three movable no, parts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> parts you, you'd be surprised. This, the, but they can each go two ways. There we go. So look at that. There we go. It's look at how convenient stuff. that was. <laughs> how you just keep these with you and you don't have any problem, right? You know, you just always keep these on you. Look, look, I got these candy pockets right here. Bam. Never will be an issue. Just I won't. You never know when there's money in a pocket like this. It's like a bomber jacket. Is that what that's called? Zach Uh, found a great extendable dinner fork for zoot dessert long handled fork cutlery. It's 25 inches long. I want this. I just wish it was a spork instead. Yeah, pull that at the campfire and start shoveling some fucking food in. Dude, I would fucking pull that out at dinner time and flex on everybody. Show them. All right, I kind of want it now. That's do you, do you, do you, if you go oh, to that Amazon listing, uh, go to the third photo in the Amazon listing, and it shows someone like stealing a dumpling off someone else's plate. <laughs> like, I'll have that. <laughs> oh, I'll have it. Does. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll have some of what is it? It's telescoping, isn't it? I'll have what. Oh shit! Having. It's telescopic. I just realized that it's a. Zoop. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it that's kind of so cool. long, like. Oh. And they don't have spork options, unfortunately. You can save five percent. I mean, that's incalculable. It's only ten dollars and seventy nine cents. Dude, utensil talk needs to be a tent pole topic on the show. Next oh, week, yeah. all utensils four hours. Get ready, boys. <laughs> Chopstick hour. All right, that's coming. That's coming. Okay. Other utensils, uh, forks, spoons, chopsticks, and the rest. Knives. Knives. A Never forget the knife. A, you ever see one of those stuff. things you use to like shave butter? It's like a little, uh, like a little, little thing. That's like a. It's kind of like a, a, mm-hmm. a, a cheese grater, but it's a, it's yeah. in a little scoop form. You it will shave a little butter on there and With the wire it. on there. Yeah. You, like like a cheese cutter almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys. All right, that's enough of this. Yeah. Yeah. Just gets fucking stop now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. PKA five sixty one. But we've had we've had someone reveal their power level this past <laughs> and Kyle's coming out has, of the closet, you might say. It yeah. has been great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I don't know about I don't make God of Thunder or anything, but uh but yeah, definitely upped the anime power level a little bit as Chocolate Thunder put it earlier. Um so yeah, it's 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 been a long, arduous process. And I know you two have been wanting to talk about it forever, so Oh, forever. This is for people who don't know. This has been a secret with us for so long. Where, yeah. like, there were times where, like, on my Twitch stream, people would be like, haha, fucking pile, pile, piece of shit, <laughs> just big pile of, you know, blubber and pork. And I just have to sit there and be like, he sure is fat, isn't he? <laughs> Meanwhile, he had just sent me a picture, like, starting to see abs, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> taking it on the chin for six months now for sending shirtless pictures to our WhatsApp chat. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, it is a, a back and forth conversation, and I'm telling nobody. They're all like, what a fucking weirdo old man sending pictures <laughs> to guys who clearly don't want it. It's like, you assholes have no idea. Oh, I'm sending dick root all day, every day. <laughs> every time I get back from the gym and get out of the shower, I'm just like, check out the dick root, boys. It's vascular. <laughs> That's what vascular. It is. About. It was. It's like people, like, they would be like, so Kyle and Woody, they're sending, like, shirtless pictures, and nobody knew Kyle was working out. And so I was like, is do people really think like Kyle's just like getting fatter, boy? Like, like what, what, would, what, would, be, what would be his purpose in sending us photos if he wasn't working? To motivate Woody. Yeah. Oh, I am looking for Look what good. could happen. Than, uh, Look Derek, what could happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're also excited about this, clearly. Derek, thank you so much for coming on. You facilitated yeah. this entire Derek's transformation. The man. I can't praise. I can't praise Derek enough. Um, he he he's definitely been like uh like a, I guess coach mentor throughout this whole thing. He's really kept me going throughout it. Um, and, uh, Derek's a hard, a hard laugh. You know what I mean? You know, when somebody's a hard laugh, you really got to come up with a good joke to get a laugh out of them. Mm -hmm. If you send Derek a picture and you're, and, and you're like, what do you think, man? He was like, all right, we're doing okay. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck. I really thought, I, I really thought I'd get something that time, but you, you've really got to like get in the gym and make something happen for Derek's like, all right, all right. <laughs> I see what you're doing now. So, like, when you when you get that out of Derek, it's it feels really good. Um, no, so. some of your photos, I thought I was like, dude, your head looks photoshopped onto the. <laughs> 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 it's yeah. Kyle saying that. I'm like, yeah, I watched him do a natty or not on Superman, Superman yeah. in the film, and he's like, he's just fat. I don't know what. <laughs> 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 Look at this piece of shit. Why would they cast him? <laughs> I'm yeah, I, I was watching the video you did on Kyle on your channel today, this mm. afternoon, and Saw like it. you would bring the picture up and you brought one up where I'm like, man, he's starting to look jacked there, looking big. And your comment was like, now he looks OK. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is nothing that you would notice in public. And it's like, no, no, no. This is nothing that you would notice in public <laughs> because you can't you have no periphery over the delts. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, how you, that's how you take Derek down from behind. <laughs> the mind warped perception in the fitness industry is next level. Like you see a guy who's easily a top 0.01% physique and you're like, you're comparing it to some genetic like hyper elite outlier. Your brain's just so fried that you're like, oh, you know, visible abs. I see that every day on Instagram or whatever. And then you don't realize mm -hmm. that how many guys in your gym even have any size on their frame at all plus abs simultaneously like zero yeah it's it's almost zero like like um the guys that i work out with um because i go to the, like the same same like time slot every night most of them are like older than me but they're all like really big guys like like they all lift heavy um so i but none of them are like lean like like nobody yeah. is is like like dick skin lean a, at mm -hmm. all in there like like nobody has abs there's a different group of guys that are like like high school athletes or college athletes or something, you could tell they're coming in and kind of horsing around, like getting like their second workout of the day in. And those guys have abs, but those guys aren't that big. And so there's just not that many guys who are both big and lean. It's super rare. Yeah, the transformation was wild, dude. Like as much as you guys are saying, I wasn't impressed. Like I thought I did a pretty good job of showing like my uh, enthusiasm about the whole process. Oh, and I end, thought it absolutely. was, yeah. I, th I thought it was fucking incredible, dude. So I was very happy with the outcome and. Like more than anything, I was glad you got to see like what you're capable of because I imagine you had no conception at the start of this that you could like you exceeded Rob McElhenney body fat percentage easily. Yeah, yeah. You make yeah. Mac look like a bitch. That was the goal. <laughs> like, like you know, that was the whole goal. Like from the beginning was to do the fat Mac, and uh, and I, I would guesstimate his body fat percentage like at his leanest when he's like on TV in that episode to be like ten something like that. And uh, yeah. we hit 8.4 at the end. We hit 8.4. And I was That's super insane. stoked. I was super stoked to hit 8.4 because I had no idea. Um, I, I, I think I had skipped a DEXA scan. Uh, I had been getting them monthly. But like the previous DEXA scan, I think I was like low, like 12%, something like that, 13%, like very visible abs. Like my, my forearms were just like roadmaps. But I didn't think I was in single digits. And then like when we got in there on May 4th or whatever it was to the DEXA, she was like, she was like, what do you think you are? I'm like, maybe 10%. She's like, oh no, honey. <laughs> <laughs> You're about three points away from our, uh, the bodybuilders that come in here, like, like show ready. And I, because th they, they'll get down to like five and a half percent or something like that. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, 8.4%. Does super your current water good. impact your body fat percent measurement? Yeah, like uh, the fat free mass thing is going to be heavily altered by your like water retention and whatnot. Because at the end of the day, it can't, it's just monitoring fat free mass, which encompasses so many different things in your body other than fat, you know? So mm -hmm. when you're doing the DEXA, it can be, you know, fairly off to be honest but at the end of the day it's it's a metric to track your progress consistently which at the end of the day like what you look like in the mirror matters and when you look at you know kyle at the end of the transformation i don't think anyone would argue he wasn't easily single digits and had definitely mm -hmm. yeah you know, it might have been nine and a half percent but i'm well, like with what the fucking dex is yeah saying. like who cares right? like, I, <laughs> and what i liked was the trend you know the trend where where, where we started at 34 and uh like, like if you want to say no dexes make you leaner than you actually are or make you seem leaner. It's like, all right, so what? I started at 37% body fat and I got down to 10. Yeah. You're just making me sound better than than, than what I than what I was saying. So because we started at 33.8, I believe, roughly, and got down to 8.4. So according to them. Uh, when you uh, when you texted me, Kyle, like a year and a few months ago, being like, I'm intentionally eating five guys three times a day to get as fat as possible, and then I'm gonna do fat mac. Like you're the only friend of mine that I believe was setting something like, like if I told that tale, I'd be like, I'm doing a five year plan where I just stay <laughs> fat. Like, but I was like, yeah, I, I truly believe it. But Derek, you don't know Kyle as well as, as I do, but like, uh, what was your thought when he approached you? Was it like, this guy's going to do it for a couple months and phase out. I have no confidence that he'll stick with like my full, like bodybuilder plan or, how, how, yeah, you? so I had no idea about the whole Fat Mac idea. I just thought he was out of shape and wanted to get, you know, ripped. <laughs> uh, oh, I so. didn't want to tell Derek about that because I was afraid that I had hurt myself on like health markers and he was going to be like, oh, this is super unhealthy what you've done. I don't think I can help <laughs> someone like you. You're an idiot. So I, <laughs> I, I told Taylor, I told like Mitty, I think, I told Chiz. I told this like a couple of people in my prove close life. You're not an idiot. This I, is. <laughs> and, and, and I, and I, I, oh, I, it's idiotic. It's incredibly idiotic. But it, the, for the bit, I had to commit. I felt like it was so goddamn funny. And uh, just to be clear, because like, like somebody was like, why didn't you tell Woody? I didn't tell Woody because Woody is such an honest, good hearted man that deception does not come naturally to him. And he mm -hmm. will just accidentally let things slip. He would mm -hmm. never reveal a secret on purpose, but he will always reveal reveal one on accident. No, like, that that reminds me, I did a, uh, we do conspiracy theories, and I did this thing where we're all on steroids. Were you on TRT at the time I did that? Yeah, I believe I was. Dude, <laughs> your part in that, I just found a Photoshop version of you on like a Greek god or something. You were a, a, in a chubby phase at the time. Yeah. And I just wanted to like touch on you and change the topic. That's how I handled your aspect of it. I didn't know at the time that you were literally on TRT. Yeah, he 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 photoshopped me onto like like a cholo gangster. It, yeah, and uh, and like I ended up more ripped than the guy you fucking <laughs> probably. You fucking yeah, <laughs> that's smart. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, wild. So yeah, what was I, the whole uh, process like? Like, did the beginning at any point in the beginning, Kyle, were you like, this is way harder than I thought it would be? This kind of blows, or were you, you so what, excited? No, man, what's hard about this is like when you're in sort of when you don't when you have this ignorance factor about something and you don't know if you if the steps that you're making are the right steps, even though they're hard. Right. Like you can go in the gym and bust your ass. But if you're doing it with like some with ignorantly, like you don't know what you're actually doing, you might get home and be like super sore. But in the back of your head, you're like, did I even do the right things? Did I do too mm -hmm. much? Did I do too little? Did I you don't know if you've done the right thing. And it's hard to like believe in yourself that things are going to pan out but having derek there and and having this like tried and true method with not only the diet like program but also the um the uh the workout program right down to like you know do this many reps do this many uh this much rest etc cetera, etc cetera. like having all of that um mapped out for me and being able to just trust in that 100 percent gave me like so much like confidence to like just keep doing it because i would just keep telling mm -hmm. myself if we just keep going down the road that he's laid out for us, we can't fail. And yeah. like forging your own path is hard. You know, it, it, that, I think that's the, the, uh, the metaphor that I would use. It's the difference between like hacking your way through a jungle that you, and you don't know what's on the other side versus having a nice trail, like cut and, and like following a leader. You're like, if I spend all my time in the living room, which is just 
next to our pantry. That's a recipe for gaining weight. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Um, he, so uh, we were talking about Tinder and you know Bumble and all the various dating sites the other day, and he's like, "I matched with this lady the other day. You know how it is. She had those pictures that were from the shoulder up." <laughs> And um, I don't know how many times I'm going to bite that hook and get reeled <laughs> in, but. Uh, Did you so, encounter this girl in real life? Yeah. So, uh, so I, you know, we, we go and we meet and uh, she gets out of her car and she slides into mine. And I look and Kyle, have you ever seen Hellboy? And I'm like, yeah, I, I've seen Hellboy. He's like, you know how he's got that one arm that's just enormous. And then, I mean, he's a big man all the way around, but the one arm is just cartoonishly big. Yeah. He's like, well, this woman had a Hellboy arm. <laughs> <laughs> one of her arms was so, like, swollen with fat that it just ballooned down to the wrist. And when the wrist met the arm, it looked like he wrapped a rubber band around it <laughs> three times over, and there was a crease and the hand was inflated like you'd blown up a rubber glove. And the arm looked like if you poked it with a needle, it would pop. Was the other arm normal, though? The other arm was normal, though. How bizarre. Like, as normal as a big fat woman's arm can be, that is. But then she had that big hellboy arm that she just slapped on my center console. And I was trying to stay away from it. Now, <laughs> jack, jack me off with the other hand. <laughs> like, I, I was like, well, what kind of date had you planned? He's like, well, we were just going to, we never met before. So we were just going to run well, some I errands. Trying to dicker. <laughs> trying to <deep> dicker. <laughs> like, like they were going to run some errands and like, and, and then go get some dinner and then go from there. So he, he was like, well, like I was running, I was like, "Hey, I, I'm going to go to Home Depot this afternoon. That it's near where you live. You could accompany me there. I'm buying flowers for my garden. We could go back to my house. We could plant some flowers and do a little gardening, and then we'll have some dinner." That was kind of the evening's plan. He's like, "Kyle, oh, she got out of my car, my truck, and she could barely walk. She was shuffling. <laughs> she was shuffling into wow. the Home Depot." And he's like, "I took about five steps, and I said, you know what?" change my mind i don't think i want those flowers after all let's uh let's just go get something to eat he's like so i took her to arby's i got <laughs> her a... <laughs> you couldn't even take her to a good fast food place no I, I, i'm gonna go the other direction arby's this is a golden corral woman this is a oh. buffet chick he has here he didn't recognize what he sit had. down if you take her to golden corral she can eat while you drive her back to your car if you take her to arby's it's i'm just trying a... i'm a people pleaser kyle no, I put the pieces together. It's just like I would feel almost too. I would feel so bad, like so, because she knows the score. She knows what's up. She knows her way around a golden corral, all you can eat buffet. Well, but all also, I know she, is she posted the misleading photos that entrapped him in that scenario. So for that reason, I, I decree that he is blameless. Well, he got her a big beef and cheddar, <laughs> took her back to her car, and he called it a day. Just and Woody has linked a picture here of what Hellboy arm syndrome looks like. That's, <laughs> that's the medical uh, 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 name for Wait, it. Wait, Woody, what is this called? It's uh, called Hellboy arm uh, uh, <laughs> syndrome. She oh, has yeah. lymphedema. I instantly knew what she had when Kyle described the symptom. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what Boogie had in his leg. But Boogie was symmetrical with his lymphedema, I think. Yeah, he had, it, he, he had it. He had it everywhere. <laughs> yes, at least both legs. He was he was eat up with it. She has. <laughs> That's point. a southern uh, way of saying you got how, it everywhere. How does this? Oh, I know. How how does uh how does this happen to a thin person? I don't get it. Oh, she it, was not a thin person. No, it it. this this inflicts mostly fat people. There are some well, people know, online like this, that don't okay, look well, this super graphic fat. Graphic is misleading because that looks like a normal thin. Well, this one. is drawn. <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> Do you not watch my 600 pound life every day? Is that? Oh, not I a... watch it intermittently, and it is it's great. Oh. I also enjoy the show Thousand Pound Sisters. Yes, because, because it's actually a conservative estimate of their weight. If they were being accurate, it'd be like the 1300 pound sisters. And and the one that weighs 800 pounds is so jealous of that svelte 550 one that it's uh. hilarious. Where she's like. And and Christy's ever since we were kids, she was always the one getting getting attention from the boys, and I never liked that. And it's like that's the one who's so overweight that there is a shelf on her forehead that has come out. That's the Neanderthal. 
It's the her. Neanderthal oh, forehead, God. but it's not. It's not stiff bone. It's fat. It's like you could press into it, and you could write your name in cursive on her forehead, and it would stick for a Beautiful. few seconds. Sometimes people get this who are thin. Uh, it can That's be a uh, side effect of cancer treatment, and it damages their lymphatic system, so they don't drain properly. So I guess some bones. people are unfairly stricken with this, and some get it as a punishment for eating too much. Yeah, God, God sends it as a, a you know, a malady for one of the seven deadly sins, gluttony. That sounds sciencey. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it sounds sciencey because <laughs> I invoked God, right? <laughs> Kyle, does your dad have a plan now for if a woman gets out of her car and the shocks like sigh or say <laughs> hallelujah? Does he just pedal it? Like, don't He's turn a lot the nicer than me. I'll burn oh, I just remembered I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a car with like Dodge trucks. You can get the air suspension. How fucking funny would it be if he pumped it up when she said it? <laughs> you hear the air compressor kick on. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> climb up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it. <laughs> He's fucking everywhere, and yeah. it, it can be a little like, hey, you know what? Like, uh, I've got a workplace politics situation. Let's weigh in. Let's get a Navy SEAL to weigh in on workplace politics. Tell you how to navigate the office there. Uh, speaking maker. of workplace pol workplace politics, I saw this clip the other day, and it's this uh, this trans woman, and uh, and she's very attractive, by the way. I, I had no idea she was trans. She's beautiful, and she's just like, um, so I wanted to go home the other day. I was just done so i go to my boss and i look her straight in her face and i say i need to go home my period cramps are terrible <laughs> and she that's hilarious because what could she say she can't say anything <laughs> in my head i'm just like what are you thinking jackie what are you about to say next because no matter what it is if it's not have a nice day i'll see you tomorrow then it's transphobic <laughs> that's I mean, right baby like that, that's I'm literally going home. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> and I was you, just like, you, you couldn't say anything to that. Like if 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 a trans person, like if you're the why boss, not? Hey, that happens to everyone, and we don't take off work for it. You, mine are too. Let's see if we can tough it out together. That's girl power. Cool. Yeah, that's because apparently the boss's name was Jackie. She needs to pull the I'm a girl too, and I work through it. That's what I was thinking in my head. But clearly it didn't go that way because mm. she's at home making this Instagram video. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get herself what fired. An, what an asshole. <laughs> it was on, I think it was on I'm a total piece of shit. It was on that subreddit. It's <laughs> yeah. a total piece of shit thing to do. Be like, hey, guess what? There's an HR loophole where I can go home every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm having one of those uh hey, you're on your and one one of those 15 month periods, huh? Yeah. You know how it is, you know, the, the hormone therapy and everything. I got to go home again. Got to go home. <laughs> Too good. You well, know, played, if though. you find out that you can play that card, why not play it every single day? You know, I would, if I'm in, if I'm in her shoes, fuck that every day. I've got go cramps or some problem until they call me on my shit. Well, you could, yeah, some girls say you have, have really terrible, terrible uh, menstrual cramps and it's like debilitating. Um, so I, I see no problem with the video. Well, I mean, I don't either. I think it's funny that, <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's funny. I just think that like, if I said, Hey boss, I have got awful diarrhea. I need to go home immediately. And then I went like, home and pasted it on Facebook. <laughs> I fooled my dumb ass boss. I'm, I'm really fine. Well, now see the difference would be if your doc, if your, if your boss knew you had a colostomy bag. <laughs> <laughs> and you were complaining about diarrhea and i just i was like hey i've got diarrhea boss i looked him right in his fucking face while i was holding my colostomy bag in my hand because what could he say no matter what you're about to say it's going to come out anti-veteran yeah you let's... know i got shot in the intestines in, in iraq standing here dripping shit onto your floor <laughs> get, get the hell out go home go home don't unplug that bag again, please. Yeah, I don't think diarrhea is a real problem if you've got a colostomy bag. I feel, I feel like you're, you you can just like like it, 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 it you can just eat whatever you want. Not, I mean, maybe not to the point of like getting fat, but like like they don't care about it. Like I hear people always like like ho oh, oh, ho, I I can't eat Taco Bell anymore. I just it smells like that. I'm thinking of Taylor uh, going back to the Jurassic era and like, oh hey, Mister T Rex, here's a smallpox blanket. Please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I would get eaten, and then he would have all my diseases. 
Ah, I see. That's how it would go. I wonder if Taylor's <laughs> brain is bigger than a T-Rex. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, think I mean, so. it is a big animal. No, but they were notoriously, uh, I mean, am I mistaking the dinosaurs? Or weren't they? That like, is the even big more, one. The biggest meat more, eater, right? Like, even amongst dinosaurs, didn't they have like a laughably small brain? Like every, uh, all the other dinosaurs would make fun of them because they couldn't read dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was the size of two or three walnuts. We all have larger brains than. What an idiot. Speak for yourself. Well, I don't think Taylor's brain's bigger than our brain, just to be clear. It might be because my head's bigger. Wait, I, I don't think that's my cranial capacity. Maybe my the CCs. Like if you, I think take... I, I think it's the same brain. It's just sloshing around and a lot of extra stuff. Why would we have the same size, different size heads and the exact same size brain? How big do you think your brain is? Bigger than yours. I just, <laughs> there's no way. There's no way you have an extra large brain. He does. Marvel sponsors, but for now we've got Harley looking wonderful in his office. And Kyle, looking, you're a handsome man, but there's something different about you today. It's that that crisp clash of your of your skin with that white blazer, that what is it, like eggshell blazer? You're looking tremendous. Mm. What's the occasion? Other drug no, no occasion. I, I got carried away with my online shopping as I do, uh, like like uh, ten days ago or something like that. I mentioned it on a, a show or two ago. I ordered like I don't even know how many blazers. They're still trickling in, you know, because I ordered it from different places. And uh, last Thursday, I dropped this one and a couple more off at the uh, the tailor, and uh, you know, got them got them tailored up, and they they came in today. So very nice. So Where do you go? Know. Where do you go dressed like that? Like so, like I feel like wherever you go, you're gonna be dressed up now. Yeah, yeah. I'll go to, the only place you go. Like I've I've been where you live. I've been where you live. You're the sharpest <laughs> no, dressed guy. No, I'm now. He, oh, okay. Oh, you got to step it up then. Yeah, I guess. Honestly, this is kind of a compliment. I He's, Kyle spends all this money to impress what effectively amounts to Woody and I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talked to us what five about, hours what about, what about these fucking guys, though? These guys, too. That's yeah, true. Them. Yeah. <laughs> the surrounding group. Yeah, you're, they're not all in that color, though, right? You you did a bunch of different ones, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I did a bunch of colors. I love that uh, color. That's a sick color. It is, I got, but there should be more I thought, it was like, I thought it was pajama. Yeah. I got. A, I thought I got, it was pajama at first. I thought it was like a like a relaxed one, but I guess know, it's like a leisure a, blazer, a, right? A little yeah. Kyle, wouldn't it? Like if Kyle found a way to get like a pajama suit, <laughs> like you know, they make those. They make. <laughs> so those. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. trashy and probably sweaty. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I got a bunch. No, of you colors. Can wear this like on a beach date. Yeah, that's I a very a, Miami, like uh, CSI Miami look. You know, like that redhead guy who finds like murdered women at the docks all the it's time. A Miami mm -hmm. Vice look. You yeah. need a no socks Doc Siders thing going on. You're all set. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell if you're the cop or the coke dealer in Miami right now. <laughs> yes. Like, are you the undercover cop yes. or are you are you the guy? Are you actually the guy? A little bit of both. Oh, He's the narc. A little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. I'm working <laughs> undercover selling the coke. So it's like, I always play both sides. He's the informant. <laughs> yeah, the, the way you either way, it. he's doing it. Either way, he's doing a lot of it. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. I got okay. a black one, a brown one. Uh, I, got, I got this one and then one that's a little more bluish than this one, a little darker gray. And How many? Like oh, six, like right? Six, six or seven. I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention. I just kept clicking. Um, you know, I got some stuff from, uh, from Express and some stuff from Armani and some stuff from just Gap. And, um, and like, it's, like I said, it's, it's been trickling in all week. You had to get them all tailored? Yeah, I always like get. I'm stuff not a jet. Like I'm not a, a. I don't have many suits, but is it normal to part. order them and need to get them tailored afterwards? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, I mean. Yeah, I, I can't wear off the rack. My shoulders are really wide. My my, my waist is narrow, so it's like it, it ends up being like baggy in the in the back, and like or or too tight in the shoulders. So like this is like an extra large. So when I got it, it was just like it was way too big, uh, but it fits in the shoulders and the and the and the arms were the right length. So like, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta get them tailored. I hate dressing like that unless I have to. I like, like I would it. never opt to wear a blazer or a tie. Well, I guess you're not gonna jump into ties, are you? You're not gonna. Um, no, not gonna jump into ties. I I, I like uh, I like kind of more of a casual look. Like a button up under this is fine, but I also like like a graphic tee, like what I got going on. Yeah, now. like you're wearing a graphic tee right now, a rainbow with a skull on it or something. Yeah, something like that. I don't even know. Stand up, stand up, do a little spin for us. Let's see what's going yeah. on. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there you what's go. That what's that? Yeah, oh, marble yeah. or something like that. Yeah, I don't now know. I'm for, I forget how you dressed before. 
Oh, leather jackets. Yeah. Yeah. All right. leather I've jacket. always leather jacket. I, I like that look too. Ooh, I got a lot of leather jackets. It shows up with um, a members only jacket. A members only jacket. <laughs> no, Kyle's always do you have one of those. Men. I do not have one they don't, of those. The, well, he has a knockoff members only jacket, of course. It's it's not a real I, I do only. not have a knockoff he, members he, only he, jacket. He, he, he kinda... The jacket you're referring to is <laughs> one of the silliest purchases I've ever made. That jacket is absurdly oh, no. expensive. You, do you have to be a, a member? Tell us. You have to be a member. Don't tell me you paid a thousand dollars. The thousand. Jew in me is like, <laughs> how much did you spend on your jacket, Kyle? <laughs> how much did you spend? You, you don't answer. A, I'm a member of an thousand. Italian designer club. It's um, uh -oh. a stupid, stupid Ooh. expensive jacket. But I love that jacket. That's um, I keep looking for like uh, more of that jacket. And I can't find it. Like, like I've scoured the internet because I thought I lost it the other day. It turned out I threw it in the back of my closet. But is that the one you're was, wearing all the time, or no? Yeah, yeah. It's like that gray, like Armani thing with the uh, like the biker style collar, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it zips. And it's uh, yeah, I like that jacket a lot. If I don't have yeah, to I, wear anything but t-shirts, I'll just wear t-shirts. Yeah, I got, I got a. Uh, I'm going to maybe uh, you know date this weekend, so. This will, uh, I'm either wearing this one or the, the brown one. I haven't really decided yet, but I'd try this out. Yeah. You're actually, so you're actually going to end up getting dressed and putting on like a jacket and spinning in the mirror and then trying on another one. Like you got options now. So you, yeah, I feel like it's worth exploring, mixing and matching. You send it to like another Tinder time. date. <laughs> Kyle holding you it. Send, you send it to a pre, literally you send it to a previous date being like hey i'm going on another date so like which one should i wear you know let her know that you have options but like you really oh. consider her close and trustworthy okay very manipulative is that logic. weird is that weird to do that move that i don't do that move. so weird oh my gosh yes <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking bizarre i was just playing a show in my head it was like a whole I, it's not that i've ever done it i was just imagining like a show and a guy it was starring kyle it wasn't you <laughs> but he looked like you and he just like you know was letting another girl know like yeah i got options you know uh -huh. It played out in my head. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. He calls I was daydreaming. That's when the laugh track comes in. And, yeah. <laughs> I was daydreaming about you in your face. Yeah. Fair Bye. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 I um. I don't know. Like I said, I, online shopping is a bit of a problem. Um. Like like I, I I didn't know what to do with the boxes for a while. I had this mountain of boxes in my dining room. Mm. Just throw them away. Like, it, what are you gonna fold each one of them up and putting it in, put it in a garbage bag? No, you just pile them all outside, and then the garbage man throws them away. Do you think they'll? I don't know if they'll do that. Like, I don't know if my they wouldn't do that do here. That. They, they do it here. My garbage man won't do that. I take I take duct yeah. tape, and I don't want to break it all down. So if I have a ton of boxes, like when I order workout equipment, I'll just throw all the boxes in there, and then do like three wraps around of duct tape to be like, all right, That's this sick. is this is solid enough that he can just grab it, throw it in the back, and he's not dealing with a bunch of boxes, and it's not you gonna got good away. garbage man. You do. Very you good. got good garbage, man. Like, I, I don't, don't know if my guy will do that. They would, never, shows up. they would never do that for me. Yeah, my guy shows up at like 5 a.m., so I can't really <clears throat> have a conversation with him anyway. So I just burn them. I've got a, like, um, a thing in my backyard. It's not a burn pit like, uh, like Woody has. That would be ideal. But it's... Um, I don't know. This is what it, I call it, a patch of concrete. That, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> no, nah, it's this elevated steel box. That has okay. like a, a cover on it to keep ashes from flying everywhere, and uh, it'll eat up a, a month's worth of cardboard boxes in about fifteen minutes. So a month of that. your use because that's a yeah. tremendous amount of boxes. Oh, I, it's I, I have a real bonfire out there. I usually do it late at night because I don't think I'm supposed to be burning things in my neighborhood. Um, but uh, but yeah, I go out there at like three in the morning and have a nice little bonfire. Uh, okay. They mean us no harm. They'll be they'll be all good. Um, like I said, guys like fish and. Well, maybe the meanest no harm thing doesn't quite fit dirty. Um, a couple guys were like, "We're like, look dirty. This one's got a big backyard in case you want to get your orbital bone caved in." <laughs> <laughs> Dick yeah, doesn't yeah, know. Talking about like you know, none of you. I'm happy to go. None of you guys have any kind of weird feelings about your dad, like wanting to murder <laughs> him or anything like that, right? Okay, good, great. One of the Patreons, Dick. His name, the his name is Dirty. He said he wants to kick my ass, and um. But he he can't, Dick. He he's like five eight. He's fifty pounds smaller than me, and uh, like I don't I don't mean to call him like Mister. But it, look, we're we're in different weight classes, and he's, he's a never giant trained. pussy. You saying he's Basically, a small pussy is what he is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I didn't like, know this dirty. I didn't do this. You <laughs> you saw how I how I framed things, right? It was in a nice little fun. Ha <laughs> ha! If you want to do this, then that. 
now you're not now you're being called a bitch boy manlet oh like, my god like, <laughs> you're right not, i didn't not I didn't. what he's saying Dirty he's a new bitch life. boy man lit. I do I follow I'll, Dick's I'll lead. I'll pop his butthole cherry if I feel like it. <laughs> I don't mean quote to say any of Direct that. Direct quote from Woody. You know? That's not what I'm going if, Here's if, what I, I thought that. about this. Had, Woody, your dick is like a movie screen. And dick is like, I love you, uh, you know, a handheld video game. This is what Dirty <laughs> should do. <laughs> Dirty should grapple first. And before we add striking, right? If he really wants to do this for some reason... We should grapple. And then he'll have an opportunity to change his mind, right? Because I think what he'll find if we were to do that is he'd be like, oh, no, I thought Woody was like a frail old man and, and cooked. And, and this isn't what I thought at all. This is like wrestling a tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and I, 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 take, I don't want to anymore. And I'll be like, cool. Yeah. You know what? You're making good decisions. And so, then you're going to thump him on the forehead and go, but guess who's buying no. my magic starter deck, bitch? <laughs> no, no. You're going to buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I, I, a tree stump. That's what, I, that's, what, uh, that's what I tell my girlfriend. Just pull, grab that thing like you're trying to pull <laughs> up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but like I, I don't know. I, I don't look like much on camera because I don't have big biceps or anything, but I really am big from like armpits to feet. And, uh, and I think he'd notice the difference, right? As soon as... You lock and like one guy goes to impose the will and the other guy goes, he'd he'd notice and uh, um, then you start kissing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I didn't want to say Everybody's it out loud, friends. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, no, he, if Woody wants, there will be kissing. If Woody <laughs> wants, there will be mutual tongue. <laughs> the only thing keeping Woody's cock out of Dirty's asshole is Woody's <laughs> own sense of responsibility. <laughs> You know, as an internet personality. You guys are going so much harder than me. Yeah, that's, that's why it's funny. You got a tattoo. You got a tattoo of a picture of your family on your ass so that if he's about to enter you unwillingly, Woody, he will possibly lose his erection at the last one. That's not my biggest concern. Dirty, I'll challenge you. If Dirty, Dirty shows to up it, for I'll the fight. Him. Dirty shows up to fight and he already has one of those female condoms in. <laughs> like, like, bring your diaphragm, bitch. He's got, ha, I got a dental dam shoved in my ass. <laughs> I didn't bring expect this coming. Uh, oh, this bring, is some Sun Tzu shit. He's totally you gotta the bring your spermicidal lube because you're about to get knocked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, I, uh, I, I, it's, is he just goofing? He's goofing, right? So, like, what, what it actually is, is he's interested in, like, having like a friendly little boxing bat match with you and like touching gloves and like, 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 like dancing around and boxing, like doing something kind of fun like that. So that's not what he said. He said he was going to kick my ass. And then I was old and like, he, he hurt my feelings. And, and I was like, well, mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> um, you know, like, like <laughs> you win <laughs> round one, dirty. Round one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this I guy dirty. Might have... He's smart. <laughs> and like, if we were on Xbox Live, just like, I don't know, throwing insults, he would beat me every time. He's very good at that. Yeah, I, I think what it is is like, like, um, when I talk to Dirty a lot, you know, I'm in I'm in chats with him. I play a lot of poker with him and and other games, and like like we really like shit talk each other a lot. And uh, and I think that he sort of transferred that sort of like familiarity that he has with maybe me over to you, and like, and maybe that's why he came off as so rude because he he's he's equally rude to me, but it's in a real I don't know we know each other a little bit better than because you don't know him at all. I mean you know him a little bit because you see him like once a month for a couple hours, mm -hmm. but like I see him that much almost every night or at least you know three nights a week or something. So I think maybe that is part of it and he's just kind of you know he can be kind of abrasive that's kind of his personality but it's it's a lovable kind of abrasiveness like i like the guy i i, I like him too i mean i invited him on a vacation a, with me so. the party house kyle you need to make him stand on the front porch like fight club with his bag next to him and you come out and like <laughs> too small get the fuck off my porch get the fuck off my porch and he stands there the, yeah that, that's how that's how you gain entry to the party house yeah, yeah you, 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 you get torn down and told to wait <laughs> your tits are too big <laughs> and then he starts walking away and he, no, no, come on, come, on. come, come back, back, Meatloaf. Don't bitch out right away. Jesus Christ. Come on, Meatball. Get back. Dude, Meatloaf in that movie is a character that like I felt so bad for. 
like the whole time. Oh right, that's like, Meatloaf playing that guy. I forgot yeah, that. Playing the guy like when when oh, uh, Edward Norton the like, like oh, I'm crying into meatballs. Meatloaf's big sweaty tits in the beginning. And okay. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I'm gl- completely incidental, accidental that that we were talking about beating up women. Um, I know we do it every <laughs> show, but but a, not quite a woman. But a small man has challenged Woody to fisticuffs. Oh, right, one of our uh, did Again? you see his message he wrote last Again? time? <laughs> uh, I, I did. I did him about him starting training ne- this month or next month or something. So one of our uh, I read, one I, of, go ahead, set it up, set it up. One of our fifty dollar patrons, uh, Dirty, uh, has challenged Woody to a boxing match, and uh, I'm going to try to find uh, exactly what he said because it was pretty ruthless what he dropped in the chat last night. Because I think Woody was like, "Ah, hey, is he serious? Does he really mean what he's even saying?" I, I, I can't, I'm struggling to find it because I got to scroll up so far. But he basically said, "Woody, I'm not kidding. I am a hundred percent serious. I will do this anytime, anywhere. Headgear, no headgear, whatever kind of gloves you want, whatever kind of rule set you want, with a ref, without a ref, at your house, at my house, in a ring, anywhere, anytime, any day. You're mine." bring it. I, it so i read it and i was grumpy to start with and i thought it over and i was like you know what yes yes <laughs> fucking yes i am tired of this fucking manlet he, this guy is like 135 pounds and mm. he is picking on me at this point he won't let the, like i would like to let it drop it seemed for a while it was much like an aggressive girl where maybe you're like <sighs> It just seems inappropriate to make you pay for what you're doing. And at, but at some point, Dirty is just going to have to meet his maker, right? At some point, <laughs> Dirty, yes, fucking yes, officially. I will let you know next time in Hartwell. Apparently, that's where you want to fight. I'll let you know when I'm coming around. You can show up. Uh, you should be aware that inside the first 15 seconds ago, you'll be on your back, and I will do... I will keep going until I feel like you've learned a lesson. It might involve a broken <laughs> nose, a broken orbital bone. I don't know. But you asked for this. And you are still... A, I will drop it if you want. <laughs> but if you show up, you will learn a lesson. And this was all your idea. I just want you to remember this was entirely <laughs> your idea. It's like, and, it's like two different badass movie quotes combined into one. He just combined... Did I? <laughs> he just combined Kurt Russell from Tombstone when he said, "You called down the thunder." Well, here it is with Tom Cruise from uh, what's the movie? Uh, from uh, what's the movie Reacher. where he's like the 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 what's military police? Jack Reacher or something like that. Jack Reacher, yeah, yeah. Where he's like, just remember, you wanted this. <laughs> 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 now it's, we have to get this organized. You I, know, I you, just you're like it's gonna be the next pay per view event. I had no just like Jake and Logan I played Paul no role people. in the origin of this. He just kept coming at me, coming at me. Uh, if he's gonna come back and say no, Woody Queensberry boxing rules, dirty. This is the part where I lied to you. Okay, boxing rules, right? But come and get it, and then see what happens because you're gonna be on your back, and I'm gonna rain down elbows on your orbital bone until I think <laughs> until I no longer want to. That's how this ends. The joke's on you. He's going to enjoy it. This is his thing. Getting dominated <laughs> by content cake. creators. Yeah. I, I just, I, I'm kind of fed up. I'm kind of like, he just fucking poked at the bear too many times. If you want an ass kicking, that's a service I provide to little manlets. <laughs> Come and get it. So mm. if he did want to do boxing, you wouldn't agree to boxing. I'm not interested. No, no, no. I, it, it, bo- Queensberry boxing rules. This is fucking 1985. That That's like the normal stand up eight count bullshit that he. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, I, I, I may do a little stand up, but I will quickly go. For, I'll tell you dirty. Just so you know in advance, I'll probably be going for a double leg. If that doesn't work, I'll transition to a single run the pipe, put you on your back and then do whatever strikes my fancy. That's how this goes. He's going to spit on you. Oh no! Oh no! Guys, no! I'm like, saying oh, you're gonna be the worst down. possible <laughs> thing he could ever do. <laughs> I, I was meaning that Woody's gonna like a, like a schoolyard bully hold him down. Oh, and, like, uh, get loogie out of his mouth like it's gonna. You gotta oh, turn his head so sideways to go straight into his ear. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> just bleed wet on me at worst. I I just like and dirty. Like I said, you can still get out of this if you want to. I, I 
That's no trouble. No, the die is cast. Oh, you know he wants it, man. He wants it. The he can come get, get it. For it. You know, like I'm just like I that thing that he wrote where he called me out and said he was all serious. <laughs> that was in response to nothing. Like I didn't that say was, anything. It was out of the blue. Out of, out of like, the blue. <laughs> like, you know, I, I don't even. I think I was online that day. Like I think it was just <laughs> out of, so. I fucking if you want it, here it is. Come and get it. These are the kind. This is the kind of fun you get in on when you're one of our fifty dollar patrons. All right, you get to yeah. fight Woody. All right? <laughs> Not only do you get apparently a monthly fuck show, you get to fight Woody. Yeah, every, that's a gear. Every one of them get to fight Woody. <laughs> <laughs> How no, 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 no. $50 I don't want dirty fights Taylor and Kyle. Well, yeah, $50 a pop. I'm sure uh, you guys know Vavity, right? I'm sure he'd like to fight. Yeah. Vavity yeah, absolutely. Might win, Vavity though. would love to take on. You could you could go to Japan to catch up with him. Oh, it would he's be in like Japan. a little vacation. I'm much tougher while he's in yeah. Japan. I'm very tough <laughs> while he's in Japan. Yeah, yeah. He can come and get it too, provided he's not here. <laughs> I'll steal valor right in front of his face as long as he's still in Japan. <laughs> I'll stay. I'll say uh, I won't go that far. No, I won't even do that. <laughs> I was going to say. So. I won't say that. No. Well, you can probably steal American valor in Japan. You probably don't have a law against that there. Yeah, no, I, I think Bobby's Wait, having a, a very good time that? over there. Wait, 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 stop yeah. the presses. Is yeah, there a law against stealing valor? Having... You can't do that. What's that? I'm, I'm sorry. You can't steal valor. No, I I, I don't <laughs> think I want to steal any valor. Um, or, or say anything about the Navy. Well, then you pay full price at AutoZone, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll continue to pay full price at AutoZone. Well, this is great. I hope that he doesn't back down, and I hope that for once one of these internet fights actually happens. Well, of course he's going to back down. Woody has said, no, I will not fight by your rules. I'm, I am I want a street fight where I beat the shit out of you. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. but, but, but I thought we do that thing that like everybody's doing these days where we box. And he's like, False. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely false. I'm gonna permanently disfigure your face. You can I have am gap tired of being bullied by a hundred and thirty-five pound man lit. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. For the I know the picture you're talking about because he is like grabbing her by the back of the neck, like doing that like statesman hand of like this is I gotta tell you how yeah. pitching works or whatever the fuck. Did I, I do you guys see or go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I was gonna say, have any of you seen recently? There's the Nicolas Cage movie Pig. I have been big it. on Nicolas Cage recently. That's the one I haven't seen. I watched the uh, the one where he fights the animatronics. I love and I like that. I like Mandy, and uh, and now he's got one that's coming out called like the Incredible Burden of Being Amazing or something crazy yeah, like that. Yeah. Essentially, yeah, yeah, where he plays himself. Um, so that looks funny too. Yeah. Um, I, I'm so glad that he apparently has money troubles because it is just fueling a, a lot of indie film that that is that is really creative and fun to watch. Is uh, is Pig worth watching, Destiny? Uh, absolutely, I think it is. Absolutely, it's a very interesting movie. Yeah, is that the one where his prized truffle pig gets kidnapped and he goes to rescue it? Kind of, yeah. It would have to be. <laughs> <laughs> or, have no, to. no, that's the that that's. He's in two pig centric movies. That's Truffle no. Pig Rescue. That's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, Operation. No, yeah. um, he's been making a lot of wacky shit. He made another one where he like, uh, like some guy straps bombs to him and makes him go somewhere to like rescue his daughter and some sort of action nonsense. And then there was the Color Out of Space, uh, like a like right after Mandy, with all the wacky special effects and yeah, color that Mandy, stuff. And, like I'm enjoying the more esoteric films he's making. Just kind of I weird. love Mandy. Mandy's one of my favorite movies now. Um, I, we should have watched Mandy on acid. Next time, I'm, if, I, if I ever do acid again, I'm going to watch Mandy on acid. Yeah, give it I a go. It'd probably be good. I, it, it's part of the movie, though, right? Like, that's the whole premise is that those mm -hmm. bikers like, had some, like, crazy, bad, scary acid that turned them into monster people. Or, like, whatever the fuck they are. That's a great movie. Acid is definitely a drug I could see wanting to try. Yeah. I've never done it, but it, I, my friends who do it and have done it all, and a lot of these are the same guys who did like high doses of shrooms, and they're like, if you're going to do a hallucinogen, just skip the shroom shit, go straight to LSD. And yeah, I trust them on that. Like apparently it, you're more apt to, or based on what they said, they said they had a lot more like, you know, freaky or borderline freaky experiences on mushrooms than LSD. Mushroom is like a plant. And it's like natural and people look at it and then 
LSD is like acid and it's got a crazy chemical name. Mm-hmm. It seems so much more scary. Mm-hmm. LSD is so much easier and you're so much more in control than you're on mushrooms. It seems like it would be really? the opposite, but like the way that I've always heard it explained, and I think it is totally apt, is that when you take mushrooms, you are going to go wherever they send you and you don't have much control over that. And if there's some dark shit that you want, you're there. You're absolutely there. Mm-hmm. Whereas for LSD, you are the come up is way smoother. Um, and you're so much more in control without ending up in scary places, in my opinion. And I've heard that pretty ubiquitously mm-hmm. through people that do both. I think LSD is like a way mm-hmm. more fun experience. Yeah. I mean, without telling the whole stupid story again, like my, my, my experience taking a lot of mushrooms ended with me like having a panic attack and, 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 and uh, like passing out on the floor in a public place. But with like LSD, I had a great fucking time for like nine goddamn hours just looking at shit. I've taken yeah. mushrooms and never admitted it. It was this year. Uh, I was on a motorcycle trip. I'm trying not to like dox the people I was mm-hmm. with. But I took one gram, which apparently is a pretty small dose. And uh, it was a really good time. Things were super funny. Uh, things that aren't interesting were more interesting. Like the, it was a mm-hmm. smoke and a campfire. It looked mm-hmm. like it had purple edges or something. And uh, mm-hmm. um, it would... But mostly, I just really enjoyed my friend's company. That that it did that as an enhancer, and that was my experience. I wasn't out of it. I, I did make sure that I had all my shit together before mm-hmm. it kicked in. My tent was up. My like clothes. I changed my clothes. The fire was started. Like you know, I, I got all my shit done before it kicked yeah. in. But um, so all I had to do was sit in the camp chair, enjoy the warmth, keep the fire going, and enjoy my friend. And it was it was actually pretty awesome. It was a yeah. super good experience. And one gram is mild, like I said. Mm-hmm. And it, I assume it goes by the size of you, like any other drug. So I don't think for I psychedelics, don't I don't know if it does. Okay. Uh, I think because it's because it's like a it's like a blood or it's like a brain like neurotransmitter thing. Like I think it's like like alcohol is a body weight thing. Mm-hmm. I think amphetamines are body weight things. But I think when it comes to like LSD or mushrooms or DMT, I think that like I think the same amount of similar effects of people. That's what I've heard. I of. hope that's true because the small guy was being a real bitch about it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> out of my depth, guy. and I've never been any other size. But uh, it was a it, it was like a super positive experience. Oh, and by the way, there was no downside on the other half. Like yeah. Um, with um, alcohol, for example, you have a really good night filled with laughs and you wake up in the morning feeling like shit. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not hung over, you're not sharp and good and happy. Yeah, you're not where you want to be. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm not at 100%. And you exactly. know you've like either taken on a lot of calories or you you know beat the shit out of your liver a little bit. Like The crazy thing about mm-hmm. psychedelics is two huge things. One is... Um, that they're relatively safe. Like that, we're not even relatively, like, they're very safe. Probably even compared to most mm. foods you eat, <laughs> they're pretty safe, mm-hmm. right? You eat them, you process them, you have a fun time, you're done. The second thing though is, oh my God, it, the entertainment to dollar ratio compared to traditional drugs is unreal. When I did acid for the first time and I was like $10 for two tabs of acid and I'm having fun for 12 hours. <laughs> and I live in LA. If I want to go get drunk, it's $15 a mixed drink. This shit is unbelievable with no downsides. Like that's like, that was the craziest thing to me is how yeah. cheap these things are. Yeah. And then how much five, you have. it's five fucking dollars a hit. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I mean, twenty dollars will send you to a to a real fun place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 for a long time. For I was, all night. I, I want to say this. I was with subject matter experts and uh, they call it set and setting. I wish mm-hmm. they called it mindset and setting because that's what they mean. Mm-hmm. But um, you, it's important that like you're having a good day and you're having a chill time and you're like wherever you are, it's okay if you go times three on it. If you're yeah. pissed off and that's where you oh, start yeah. your mushrooms and that's not a good that's not a good time to do it. And then the setting, someplace safe, someplace Walmart. happy. <laughs> In my case, it was camping. And uh, you know, it says get your set and setting right. Dude, do a low dose, it, it, especially if you're new. I, I had mm-hmm. I did a, a low dose that you might consider a pussy dose, and I really had a positive experience. Yeah, you can't take pussy dose people seriously, where they're like, Oh, you're not you don't have a huge problem with mushrooms like me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ego I ego yeah. dose my drugs, bro. Yeah, I I ego ego. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why that's why when I drink Everclear. No chance. Everclear. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I want my, my stomach like lining, burning through. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even get like 
that like feeling of euphoria you're talking about. I've only done mushrooms once also, and I don't know how much I took because it was my roommate freshman year of college who just gave me some off his desk. It was mm-hmm. definitely a low dose, but like, I don't remember feeling like joy or anything like that. I just remember like sitting there in our dorm. It was like a Tuesday night or something. And like, I was watching it's always sunny, like season two or something on the DVDs he had, he introduced me to the show. And I just remember like sitting there and like the TV kind of breathing at me. Yeah. Like, like kind of moving towards me and pulsating. But like, and I thought it was going to get more intense than that. No, it was really like, okay, colors, maybe those are more vivid things. Or if I focus on something, it starts to manipulate and breathe. I, I took what he gave me. I have no idea. I didn't even know like how, how it was dosed or anything. Yeah. I, I hadn't, I took mushrooms before. I'd, I had not smoked weed at that point in my life. How did you take it? Like what? what? I ate it. Like it was, so it, in, it tasted rough. Uh, mine was on a, um, I think it was on a spoon and I chased it with water. Like, so it was grind. It was ground up to be mm-hmm. almost dust. Mm. And I ate that off a spoon and then chased it with water. He, his it wasn't even ground up to like dust. It was like, like almost like you would mince an onion, like yep. that size oh, okay. of it. And mm-hmm. I just ate it and like, that's how I've had no, it. Didn't I, 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 all of it. He had I a started tool that would do that. I started with whole mushrooms. Um, and, and just you're muted. Kyle, you're muted. Okay. Well, he started with whole mushrooms. <laughs> you know is. that much. The whole mushrooms and chopped them up with a knife and then just kind of like rolled them together in a somewhat ball that then starts like falling apart and growing, like doing that thing. Like when you, oh. when you frame, but when you put water on a straw paper, yeah. does a, it. does acid taste like anything or do you not? No, even so, know? Not at all. so, so like I, I, I've only seen it on like the little tabs, the little pieces of paper. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, it's such a tiny piece of paper, like, way smaller than you think there's yeah. there's nothing in my world that is that small that i could compare it to that gives so. you that much and if you look at it the first time it's it almost seems like you're getting like kind of pranked like you have a, a microscope not microscope but a very 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 tiny square paper and then you put it on your tongue and it almost square like a, that's square, funny square centimeter maybe yeah. but i don't think so maybe less when i i didn't do it in high school i've never done it but it was described to me as the size of a postage stamp oh no way smaller like, like if you have a postage stamp, changed, we've got enough for the party. Yeah, postage it, stamp is like you've got like 20 hits of LSD there. <laughs> right I wonder if it changed crazy. or like maybe it's more pure now and it's shrunk and it's like. Uh, there's a whole story with like the production of LSD because like, and I'm no expert, but I want to say that this guy at one point made like a hundred million fucking doses or something like that. He was and like the world provider of for LSD. a long time. Like like all the LSD in like the the seventies or something was was his LSD or, or whatever the story is. Good but guy. it's a tiny tiny bit little piece of paper. It's hard to just get one because you're just like like two people are like pulling Where's it off. It's not ends. that small. It's not like it's a. My fingernails aren't precise enough to like carefully grab like this thing. It's how, so small. How long is uh, how long is the come up? I know Destiny said it was like smooth, but is it like an it's, hour after you take it? I think uh, like an hour. I knew an hour in. I knew an hour in, and I was like, I want more now. And they're like, Well, let's wait a little more. I'm like, No, let's go ahead and start with two now. And then like every hour, uh, I added another one. Jeez. Um, until I was out. I think on LSD, <laughs> I think you're peaking at around three hours, and then you peak mm-hmm. maybe for like thirty minutes, and then you glide down based on your dosage. That would be like one tab about. Yeah, it was. Um, okay. But but the only like crazy stuff I saw was like everything breathed, you know, it did that sort of pulsating mm-hmm. thing, and uh, colors would sort of do this, I don't know, inversion kaleidoscope thing where like the center of of the color would revert to the the sort of shade that the uh, perimeter was, and 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 that that would like revert back and forth if that makes sense, like rosy cheeks on a painting, like the edges of it were darker. And then the, mm-hmm. the center was darker, and that would go back and forth if you stared at it. The my, clouds were fucking moving. So my tiny mushroom dose had nothing but positive and good vibes. Did your LSD dose do that? Did did anyone ever kind of wish they could get off this train? Uh, one person seemed <laughs> uncomfortable, but almost like they were feigning discomfort to be funny, which is probably why I was being yeah. so mean to them. Because um, you saw I, through the ruse. I guess it's like, stop acting like you're the only one here doing something for the first time. We're all trying something new, and you're ruining it for everyone. You little <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you piece um, of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but I just felt like he was being like white girl with her first wine spritz or high, and it was annoying. But that that was probably just me being an asshole uh, on 
and and, and like maybe uh maybe that was appropriate or maybe it wasn't but fuck him for ruining my high but uh but yeah it was a good time uh, i like lsd i like watching like uh would like you do it by and, yourself oh yeah oh yeah like there's you no would. fear there's no like oh i could do lsd and make a silly phone call or walk outside naked no no more than you could do either of those things when you had three beers like Mm-hmm. See, I wouldn't do mushrooms by myself. Now, probably people would disagree with me and do, but enhancing the good vibes of the people I was with was kind of what it did for me. Oh, mm-hmm. ideally, I'm with people. Ideally, I'm with a girl and we're having sex because I think sex on LSD would be the tops. But uh, um, I would do it alone, I guess is what I'm saying. But I would prefer to be with friends and or even family or anybody that you like that you can hang out and chat with and shoot the shit and joke around and just generally laugh about how the desk over there moved a little. Did you see it? I saw hmm. it. Look at it. I'm, right, I'm going to look away. You look at it. You tell me if it moves. <laughs> Maybe like, it's my looking at it that caused it to move. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, like I've heard of this. This this has something to do with quantum yeah. entanglement. This is uh, Schrodinger's yeah, is. table. Yeah. <laughs> this is the jet, I think. <laughs> so it's Neil, like, I, Neil I deGrasse Tyson told me about this. So like, I, I know I lots of know people right or wrong. Who, who really enjoy <laughs> acid, but like, you never hear about them like taking too much. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> because he's taken a run at so many of our smaller guys for no reason in preseason. He hurt two of our like skill guys in the same preseason a couple of years ago. So fuck him, hate him. Uh, the <laughs> All right, the poo counter is now at seven. <laughs> I think it's time to to call it a show, Woody. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad that he. I'm glad we have a poo counter. I, I really <laughs> feel like. <laughs> Poo counter is seven poos in four hours. My God. this poor man's ass. He's, <laughs> he is he is fibbing so hard. About he is lying life. about his anal health. I'm sure of it. That thing no, is, no, is his asshole is awful, disgusting. It's raw. I believe it's clean, but it, it must be in pain. <laughs> it must be. But. All right, PKA five fifty four.